Hey, Gene, good news. We got new merch. Shirts, hats, masks. Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. Go get that shit, bitch. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Big news here. There's a new offer. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H and get $225 off your purchase. Go now, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H and get a new mattress. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Jeans, there's always a blessing in the skies, as I like to say. Some of us have some free time. Why not build a website? And why not build that website using Squarespace? I love Squarespace. I've been a fan of them for years. I've built four websites with my own two little paws. I like them because their templates are clean. They're intuitive. They're compatible with uh, mobile devices. So when people look you up, they see a beautiful website. Why not? do it to promote a business to maybe your wedding is coming up and you want to put the details at wedding so you don't get asked 500 questions a day birth of a new child whatever do squarespace hit up squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code mom to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain squarespace what's up there chomos this is for our poly people only <laughs> um just feeling those uh, energy today those vibes yeah jeans talk about xanadu pretty soon stop it you're gonna bring her up <laughs> i can't believe you just outed me like that i didn't know you were gonna talk about xanadu <laughs> star xanadu oh all my god <laughs> you brought star into this too yeah you're so nasty you're nasty. you're happy you guys notice he's happy today you know why i milked the bear last night <laughs> Look at him. I know. Happy singing. Oh, you know what I forgot? What? Those 10 millies. I was going to be 10 milli Tom today and I forgot. Them. Oh, yeah. shit. I People did, are uh, really loving you. I know. I did I did um, IG live the other day as a 10 milligram Tom. A little secret. I was actually 20 milligram Tom. What? Um, Wait, uh, are you upping your game now? A little bit. Yeah, I'm starting to build a slight tolerance. So, um, but... I had my favorite thing about it. So I'm I'm sitting there, I'm just chatting people up on Instagram live and uh you know, you were like, How's it going? I was like, Oh, it's great. Just saying hi to people and we just talk, you just jump in with people, right? And it was fun. People seemed to enjoy it. And I was like, Wouldn't it be funny if uh <laughs> I laughed so hard at this? If I was like if you're like, What are you doing? I'm like, I'm just gonna say hi to some some people on Instagram and then you're like, All right, I'm going to bed. And then you're like, I'm going to get a glass of water. And you come downstairs and you just you just hear me going like, yeah, yeah, now play with your clit. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, um, what? And then I'm like, I put another finger in there. Oh, yeah. And then you walk in. You're like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. Just saying hi to folks. Jesus. What are you doing? But my fair part is that it's an Instagram live and that the whole world can see. Yeah, that's the other and layer of it is that I'm like. You think you're doing I'm it like, just. Oh, yeah. Your pussy's all wet, huh? <laughs> And then everyone's like, do you guys see what Tom's doing right now? <laughs> and people can record those stories. Right? I know. If they yeah. want to. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. And then I'm just sitting there like, yeah, you got a nice puss on you. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can totally picture you doing this. Actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can picture you. Picture me doing what? Just doing that, that sex. What is it called when you live sex being chat? Chill. Being, being chill. chill being cool, dude. Being chill as fuck on <laughs> IG. So what? Yeah. You really were into it though. And I'm really happy doing 10 milligram Tom or 20 milligram. Yeah, it was Tom fun. Live. It was fun. Yep. Yeah. That's a good time. Yep. That's what? true. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. What is going on here? I don't know. But you, yeah, I have to tell you that I've been getting many messages saying that people have been enjoying our quarantine vibes, vibes and yeah. that we're both so relaxed so and relaxed. so chill mm -hmm. and people are really liking us and i have to tell you that i'm so now used to doing absolutely nothing but being with the kids feels good yeah that even like getting in the car to do a show you're like oh i gotta go to the studio like i you, know it's like it, it turned so. all the 
it, ter- it turned the hustle off of life a little bit. All of you know? yeah. That's easy. Thirty-three inches. You do all that digging. You don't want to get no pussy. You don't want to keep running the house, parking the cars. I don't want to see where the fuck you at. Are you serious? So that gives you an excuse to fucking just cheat on me. I ain't cheat. A dick suck ain't cheating. Right? That is. That was me on IG Live the other night. <laughs> Nadav had recorded it. Great. That's great, Tom. I was just talking to people and I just told them a dick sucking ain't, dick sucking ain't cheating. That's true. There's a lot of guys that probably feel that way, huh? Uh, I think most people feel that way. You don't think dick sucks are cheating? No. Why would that be cheating? What, can I get fingered then? What if someone someone goes down on me and that's not cheating? You don't mind? I didn't know this. I mean, what, how is that cheating? <laughs> Fine, I'm cool with it too. That's what you're out there asking for? You're like, someone, will someone go down on me? Well, that's what you're saying, that that's not cheating. So. No, I know, but I, I, you don't you but now position I didn't know. yourself as like, God, I just really would like to be yeah, fingered but, but, or eaten but out. But if that's the thing I can do free with other people, mm-hmm. should I get eaten out at the comedy store? I get eaten out at the grocery store. I could get eaten out at Starbucks. I'm a woman. It's easy, easy picking for me. But that's what you want? I mean, if you're opening the door, no, I'm just saying. If we're opening doors no, no, let's, let's just, to NRE, let's just talk, let's talk about the doors for a second. You're in your perfect world. You're like, I'd love to be able to just go to the grocery store and get eaten out. That's what you're saying. Of course, you don't think that's living the high life. I, I just, I'd never, it never occurred to me how easy that would be. What's the easy part? I. You just go. You got your do produce. Chores. Get some bread. Yeah, and be like, hey, hey, you come here. Get in the car. And get then, the, and oh, you get eaten out in the car. Yeah, I did privacy, man. I'm not just some animal on the streets. That's cool. One of the things I think that stands out to most people as like a classy person <laughs> is the type of person that goes, "Eat me out in the parking lot of this grocery store." <laughs> That's just, you know what I mean? That's like you just true. go you like, that it. person's got it together. <laughs> you don't hear about it very often. Yeah. You know, it's a low risk for STD unless that person's got a, a cold sore on their lip at the time. Yeah. Right? That's really all I can. Is that the only thing I can catch from the orals with people? I don't know. I mean. Dr. Nadav, Dr. <laughs> Any in the booth? No, right? Because dick sucks. You can get herpes on your peener. I don't know. Who gives a shit? Oh, my God. I don't care who sucks it. Can I guess get an STD receiving oral sex? I can't read that. Damn. Of course you can. Yes. Yes, it's possible. Make it bigger. Herpes. We said that one. HPV. Um, oh, throat chlamydia. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what the person can get from me. I don't give a shit. It's also right. possible to get or pass on syphilis, hepatitis, Hep-B. or HPV. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, none of those will kill you. Big deal. A little bit of hep. Yeah, th- first of all, I'm not I'm not worried about any of this. Like Right, chlamydia of the throat. Again, not my problem. I just say line up, give me head and deal with the consequences. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> See, you know, that's what I say to when I'm at the grocery store. I go, I, <laughs> I got my stuff. <laughs> you guys line up and get ready to get down. Is that your fantasy? Just no. Just like line up of chicks? It's one of the worst fantasies I've heard from you. But just a bunch of girls sucking your D and no, lying? No, your suggestion of the grocery store. Oh. It's just, it's just <laughs> I'm so... just thinking of a two for convenience because I don't have a lot of time. I'm a, I got two kids at home. I can't go find a hotel. I Mom, can't... where were you? I was getting my pussy eaten <laughs> in the parking lot of Ralph's. Yeah, but I was getting groceries. But I'm also thinking of your feelings, okay? Because if we open up the relationship this way, do I have to tell you about these things, or yeah, can I yeah, just no, be like, "Hey, man, me. I went to Starbucks." No, no, no you got to tell me. That's always how it goes. Starbeezies. No, no, no. Do you no, want to no, hear no. the details? All I mean, of my poly, <laughs> all my poly relationships have always thrived in communication. It's about telling the other person what you're doing, and then you enjoying those details. Of course, <laughs> nothing would be better to hear than how you got fingered at fucking gelson's <laughs> that'd be such a cool where story. would i go to get in gelson's though it would have to be in the bathroom they've got a private one one room feels like you really thought this thing out <laughs> jesus do you really feel though you really think that getting your dick sucked is about is like a violation yeah why 
I think Frenching someone is a violation. Wait. Holding hands with someone else, violation. Wait, what is Phones, not a violation? Sexting, violation. An emotional relationship with another woman, violation. What's not a violation? You can look at other people. Yeah. You may masturbate to porn yeah. with other women. Okay. Pictures, Victoria's Secret catalogs. I don't know. Victoria's Secret. The Sports catalogs. Illustrated swimsuit issue. What is this, 1994? <laughs> But you may not have a relationship. I don't want a relationship in real life with anybody. Can I just okay, just just hear me out. There's some scallywagon just sitting there, right after the show, alone. She lost a shoe. She's, <laughs> she's just kind of broken. Yeah. And I walk out of the green room into the alley, and she's just like, you know, like she looks <laughs> sad, right? And then. That I makes, walk out. That makes your wiener go. What is the thing? Broken, sad. Well, here's the part. I walk out of the into the alley, and I immediately I know this is someone beneath me. You know. Like, yeah, and I you like down. that status. Yeah, I have some disdain. I'm like, what are you doing? And then she's like, Oh, Tom Segura, I was at the show, and then they threw me out. And I'm like, What did you do? Like, you know? And she's like, I guess I was on my phone or something. I'm like, Yeah, well, that's what happens to fucking idiots. And then she's like, is that your bus? I'm like, no, it's somebody else's fucking tour. Wow. Yeah, of course it's my bus. So far. And then she's like, can I see? And I go, see? <laughs> she's like, can I see what it's like on the bus? And I go, no, I'm not having, you're disgusting. And then. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold so on. far. <laughs> hold on, just hear it out. Just hear me out. You please. Talk to your therapist please about hear me this out. One. Sure. So then she's like, I just, I don't, don't want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like well you're Wait, you want to go to the bathroom <laughs> you want to go to the bathroom yeah, she says she, she wants says to use the toilet on your bus yeah and i'm like absolutely not I'm not letting you on this bus and then she's like but i don't want to have to go here in the alley and like this is where people go alleys are for bathrooms and then she's like is there anything i can do and i'm like if you would stop talking i think everybody would feel a lot better and then she just goes like this like that <laughs> wait i unzip my pants i i shove it in the ma wait i don't i have disdain for her yeah i just go i go one two three uh, i finish and i'm like uh, and then i put it away and she's like uh, and she goes oh uh, <laughs> and she's like now can i use your bathroom <laughs> and i go no <laughs> and then i get on the bus and we t and we go away wow do you at least give her a cup of water? Um, no, but you know what I'll do? As the bus goes by, I throw a couple tissues and oh I go, wipe God. yourself like oh that. My God. And then the bus pulls off. Is that permitted? <laughs> do we have an opening clip for the show? Not even going to answer me, huh? I mean, you're so depraved. All right. This is better than your old fantasy of stapling my tits to the desk and you, you're the janitor <laughs> and you put my head in the bucket of water, <laughs> the dirty water. Remember that fantasy you used yeah. to have? Of course. <laughs> All right, let's start the show. What is with you and demeaning? <laughs> you have to debase. <laughs> what All is right. that? Ready? You're ready? real classist. You really like that. You ready? Demeaning people. Sure. I mean, I don't feel good. Excuse but Excuse me. You just <laughs> went to the bathroom like on my property and I'm playing there. No. Are you kidding me? You just you just took a poo right here on my property and I have my kids playing right here. <laughs> oh, Randy. Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> no mother the fuck is there. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome <laughs> to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Wow. And Christina <laughs> Pajitsi. Welcome wow. to your mom's house. <laughs>
Can Excuse I, me. The thing is, though, <laughs> you went poop, poop on my lawn, and well, the lady's like, "Here you go." But the thing, <laughs> <laughs> clean it up. The thing is, do you go like obviously whoever's doing that is not well in the what mind and the head. Like, do you confront that person? Yeah. Or do you just well, you confront and you roll you roll the dice on their reaction. See, and this this actually is the best case scenario because. You, we have, we've shown you neighbors that aren't friendly, and we will, <laughs> we'll show you a few today. But uh, this is a, yeah, this is kind of the best case scenario where she called her out. I think the camera really has an effect on, you know what I mean? On oh, you. yeah. When you're confronted for bad behavior and someone has a camera, you're like, oh, boy. Um, yeah. Well, it's like, it's our, in our neighborhood when we walk Bitsy around, some neighbors have a sign on their lawns of a dog squatting yeah. like it's about to take a dump and yeah. then it's like don't poo here yeah that that i don't like, really get like how do you get to dictate that's what grass is right a place where you can kind of but but also what's more gross like having a sign of a dog simulating taking a shit or having the shit taken yeah there? like yeah. i'd rather just have a shit on my lawn than but the shouldn't cut out dog shouldn't the sign squatting. shouldn't all those signs just say please just clean up pick after it your up. dog because yeah. there, there's people that have signs that say like don't shit you know like don't allow your dog to poop here what right what do you mean it's grass like it's that's grass. where dogs poop and where you do have, you want them to poop you no just not on my <laughs> lawn the shit on the neighbor's lawn well the the signs that we have in our cute little neighborhood are of the dog squatting yeah like, yeah, that. like yeah. pushing out a turd and you're like why would you put that that's even more that's grosser than just having a turd. No, but, ours has like a cutout dog. Yeah, yeah. It's like the shape of an actual dog. No, it's but the point silly. being though, what kind of, what is that? Like to say <laughs> yeah, that- like You want that, that it, on your lawn. That a dog can't poop on my lawn. I know, it's silly. That's what they're there for, dogs poop. But this is crazy. So you would confront our neighbor? If I saw a human being shit on my grass? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I would. I think I would be like, hey, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Did you just shit here? You shit on the grass? I think you should. I've, all I'm saying is, please clean it up. Please clean up what you did. Wait, yeah. and she brought her own poo bag with her, which is well, the second part of the mystery here. Like, That's really not okay, Steve. Can you get a couple poop bags, please? Pardon? Can you please get a couple poop bags? Bare hands. <gasps> My husband's going to bring you a couple of doggy bags. How did she had her own caca bag with her? Uh -huh. She just took a huge dump right there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another bag. In broad daylight. My my kids play right here. Mama, mama. Mommy, There's a huge <laughs> pandemic going on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Yeah. <gasps> How hands. long do you think she's been doing that, dumping on public property? I think she's been doing it since she's been living back at home, you know? Yeah. I, I think. This know, is not a new, she, it wasn't no. like today. She was like, I was, oh, I just had to go. She's, right. It's part no, of No, this routine. is a tradition, I think, that's been passed down from her grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Well, yeah, they, yeah. I think they do this in the mainland. Huh. Oh, he's blaming it on her race. Culture. I think it's a culture thing. Culture, not race. Wow. <laughs> so you're suggesting. So when you he's were saying they do this. Look, I, I just I just came back from yeah. there. Yes. They have toilets that let you poop like that. And if you don't have like a ceramic hole to do it in, you're like, whatever, I could just do this. Outside. Well, there's that thing about you can even look it up about pooing like in indoors. Right. Uh, just on the floor. Right. In, in <laughs> malls and stuff. Yeah, that they is, say, those signs they are have easy. signs that say, don't poop on the floor here. Yeah, those signs are just for mainlanders. Yeah. yeah. And is this because there's a shortage of places to go in in public? Uh, there's like not enough public restrooms? I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked into the intricacies. Here's what, of here's what I'm <laughs> interested in. What? With these people that, um, <sighs> that would, let's say, poop at, inside the mall on the floor. Um, what about <laughs> that, that ass situation? You know what I mean? Like they're just like cleaning your asshole. So yeah. So if you drop your pants and you just shit on the floor <laughs> next to the Apple store, 
<laughs> um, then you just pull your pants up and walk around. Well, yeah, you're not. Don't you wiping? have the shittiest asshole? Well, you got two squares of toilet paper attached to your body at all times. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, Tom. What? These? You mean to tell me that these people don't wipe their heinies? That's what I'm. That's the point I'm asking about. Okay, well, let's, because there let's is go there is that. a okay. situation you can look it up. Look up like um, pooping indoors, China. You know, <laughs> like on the they're pooping but on the floor. now Ma- Yana might I suggest mm-hmm. if you squat if you've ever squatted to dump the yeah. the break is so clean so clean oh on a on a real true squat dump right yeah. that you actually probably don't need a lot of toilet paper yeah china has around 800 million peasants peasants i use the word peasants not farmer because most of them are really poor not well educated chinese government sacrificed the rights <laughs> and benefits of four to five generations of these peasants okay i don't know if this is really answering but it, it, is it saying that this is a common well thing? so the question was is it a common occurrence uh-huh. uh, in china and this person says uh, as a Chinese living in Beijing, I should say that uh, I might have seen the scenario several times a year. Okay. So just seeing it on accident sometimes, not actively looking for it. Right, right. Like I, I really, you know how much I love brown talk, but like I can't even wrap my head around just going in a mall. Like I, I know. I, how do they, are they not worried that someone can see them? There are is you, no, I don't think there's any shame to attach to it like that. I think also <laughs> if you come from like extreme poverty, there's that whole um, modesty is like a luxury. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just like, I sure. bathe like this, I shit. Like, they're not thinking in terms of like, oh, I feel shame right yeah, now. Yeah, wow. It's just like, I have to go to the bathroom. And so. this one just went in this lady's bushes in broad daylight. That's the, and this, this is, lady. This is right here. Or, or in, she has kind of, is it a Canadian accent? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But it's North America. Yeah. yeah. And uh, even though our friend here is not from <laughs> North America. Um, <laughs> But it's definitely, it's definitely, she's shameless in how she did it. And she wore white, which (laughs) is really daring. I'm going to go on a walk, go to my, take my morning walk, go to potty. Take a (laughs) shit. Same shit, different toilet, man. (laughs) It's wild. I can't even, and here's the deal, man. If I'm out walking in our neighborhood Mm -hmm. and I feel a tug, I'm just going to walk home. Like I'd make it a priority to try to get home. Yeah. Well, yeah, but some people don't. Now, I remember last year, this was more a... Um, Man. This was a... You could tell it was like a thing to provoke. You know, I, I think my my guess of this right here is that it is kind of an extension of how someone was maybe brought up. And there's, you know, I don't think she's trying to like fuck with her neighbors or anything. I mean, that's I'm, I'm looking at a video and just making a guess. Yeah. But I do remember yeah. that I think a year or two ago... We had we played a video of it was a, a a high school coach of some kind. A high school coach was shitting um, on and around near yes, the, the, the cross this. country track. Remember Open that? defecation. Yes. yes. Yeah, I remember. I it. remember that. And they they caught the person from like security cameras because they were kept finding like human shit everywhere. And it turned out it was I think somebody that worked at the high school. So that is doing that is not tradition or anything that is somebody who's trying to provoke you know right it's become a thing for them are they trying to get caught on yeah yeah i think they're trying to they're enjoying that it's being talked about in the community it's in the news you know what i mean like they're it's kind of psychopathic i could see you getting into that oh thanks i could i could see you starting to like the thrill of the the chase so to speak i'm um, trying to find you yeah what is this right here this is a thrill oh is, oh my god that's a fetish getting punched in the face you're listening to um an asian nurse punching a guy in the face mm. <laughs> This is a thrill for some people. Look at Enny's face. <laughs> nice. Wow. Into it. Yep. Hard as a rock. Oh. Dude. Ow. Oh, the nurse is taking off her nurse costume. <clears throat> you know, I've never had a nurse do that. <laughs> On any- Ow. Fuck. I just saw her bush. 
Did you? Look at her bush. I think her bush is. Is, is her hand wrapped? Yeah. God damn, man. She's protecting her knuckles. But I mean, that's, I know she's not that powerful, but that feels like over and over on the same spot would get irritating. Yeah. I shot a, a, a scene once <laughs> where um, the actress slapped me. And dude, I'm telling you, they had told her to do it to get my reaction the first time because it did get like, because it was, it was not in the script. And I got this, and then she kept doing it. And I was like, hey. Because <laughs> she wasn't a lightweight. And she, you know, and she wasn't doing, there's play slapping. Like in, in movies and in TV, you're supposed to like, you, you do it, yeah, you, you hit with like these. Like your fingers are kind of, and, and then you coordinate it, right? And then they do like kind of, she was just open fan, hand hitting me in the face. And I was Oof. like, yo, yo, you weigh as much as me. Nah. -uh. Stop. She's a big girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that slap. looks like it hurts more. The open hand slap. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Oh, I don't like this one. Who sent that in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just found it in the email. See, that's your one. Uh, <laughs> your mom's podcast at gmail.com. Just a gift. Your mom's podcast. But that's a fetish <laughs> that I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that makes someone's dick hard, but it does. No, know? I think it falls in line with the ball kicking. Yeah, yeah. And the, um, it's being dominated and controlled by the pretty girl. You know? I would do the money control where you're like, you stupid fuck, give me a hundred dollars. And then they have to give it to you in your Venmo or whatever. That's yeah. easy money. This chick is working way too hard. You're always in all about that. Yeah. The fin financial fin ones. Yeah. Fin yeah. What are you doing this stuff for? Hurting your knuckles, ruining your manicure. You have you, to you've squat always over said you this could guy. Do, you could do the ball kicking too. You think easily because you have the easily. anger inside of you, the rage inside of me, and it's you want just... to see the man collapse. Well, pain. if he likes it, if he likes it, I'm just making somebody happy. Back to straws. <laughs> you are back to straws. It's so much better keeping your teeth white. Mm. They're giving you straws again because of the uh, pandemic. Oh, cool. Yeah. Fuck mm. the turtles, right? Fuck them. Um. And just to, to reiterate what we were discussing at the beginning, I think it's important to make a point here, okay? Oh my God, so you getting dick sucks on your way to work? Looking for you, though. Damn. So you was looking so for- you want me to keep beating my dick and being backed up? The bitch wanna suck dick? I gotta suck my dick. Dude, this guy is getting <laughs> dick sucks? He's like, what do we do? My dick's all backed up. <laughs> but he was on his way to her. And he was looking for you? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, was I got you on my mind. Yeah. I will not cheat on you, Sabri. You did! You <laughs> did, JR! You already cheated! We supposed to wait till we get married to do what we do. When you get my ring. But you walk to work and you like a bitch and you like how to suck your dick. You can always tell when someone has game by <laughs> by by the way they handle being in trouble. Molly. Well, yeah. When he's like <laughs> That's when you know someone is suave and smooth for, with, with for words. For sure. Because he's like, I would never do that shit to you. She's like, you already did. <laughs> and he's like, uh-uh, I'm thinking about you right now. I'm looking for you. What do you want me to do? <laughs> That's like, the best explanation. Yes, yes. I was on my way to you, This though. dude knows how to talk, for sure. <laughs> that easy. At 33 inches, you do all that digging. You don't want to get no pussy. You don't want to keep running the house, parking the cars. I don't want to see where the fuck you at. Are you serious? So that gives you an excuse to fucking just cheat on me. I ain't cheat. A dick suck ain't cheating. Bro. That is. <laughs> a dick suck ain't cheating. That is cheating. No baby. That's oral sex. So what? It's a dick suck. It's not <laughs> fucking the bitch. It's not fucking her and laying beside her and all that. That's our bust the neck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they're still together. <laughs> I'm oh, telling yeah. you right now. These the, this couple's going to be together for life. Uh, forever. They're yeah. thriving on this and like, nonsense. Every once in, every few years, I'll be like, are we back to these dick sucks again? He's yeah. like, I, I went for a walk. <laughs> all right. I was trying to get you a present for your birthday. All right. And I come around the corner. What am I supposed to do? I mean, my dick's all backed up. <laughs> what you am don't, I supposed you don't to fuck? do? Remember you said you didn't want to fuck last night. Is that was that what he said? I couldn't understand really what's happening. Yeah, He's I like, mean, you're, you're not putting out, so I got to get my dick sucked. He's like, you know, I'm working, and uh, yeah, you're not really, you know, you want to put <laughs> things off, and I accidentally got my dick sucked. <laughs> I like that she's live streaming this argument yeah. too. That's, well, that's the craziest see, part. Here's why they'll stay together. She 
she has the one up of your behavior led to me like I got to humiliate you. Oh, so that's she why, has, yeah. And then he'll he'll use that when this is brought up. He'll be like, "Yep, you put that shit up on, on for everyone to see. That was humiliating." So she actually got one up you're, on him. You're right. And then all he got was his poor little dick. His poor little. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're a hundred percent right. Yeah. This is the couple when you go out for dinner with them. It's immediately uncomfortable <laughs> because the woman is like, well, maybe if he uh, did the chores or maybe if he made a little more money. Am I yeah, right? Like yeah, they yeah. complain like, about uh, it's so yeah, embarrassing. It is. It's the worst. It's But they love it. The two of them will be like. And it's always the woman in ugh. those scenarios who feels the right. Like there's something about, like a guy who talks to humiliate his lady fe feels That's abusive. Crazy. Feels yeah. abusive. Yeah. But the woman who <laughs> humiliates the man, it's just embarrassing. It's You're just so like, painful. God damn. Yeah. It's, I it's hate so, it. It's I, like can't, the, I can't have a couple of friends like that. It's like that. the Jenny thing. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Because like, once you lose weight. Yeah. Like, used to be in shape. And he was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. But they've been together for like yeah. 30 years. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you like your life? <laughs> huh? You like this house? Yeah. And that's their dynamic. You're right. Some couples just thrive on this stuff. I know. It is, for some reason, I think it's just the dynamic of the man being more powerful. It can be entertaining. Powerful physically? Yeah. Oh, like he could kill you. Yeah. He could kill you. And also, he usually has a leg up in society. Yeah. Like, so if the man does it, it does feel like this is bad. We got to go. But when the woman does it, it's like, it's kind of entertaining. When the woman shames you. Mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of, because you're, you're like. Oh, that's right. Because the power dynamic. The power yes, dynamic yes, yes, is yes, different. Yes. Yeah. yes. But it's still, it's still, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Babe, it's just dick sucks. It's just dick sucks. <laughs> Should we do that shirt? It's just dick sucks. <laughs> dick sucking ain't cheating. That's a fun shirt. <laughs> dick sucks ain't cheating. You would dick sell no. so What I found many. is that all the crass stuff, we've done crass doesn't things, work. it doesn't work. Because who wants to broadcast that message? Yeah. They're like, what's your shirt say? Yeah, dick and he sucks says he wear. <laughs> <laughs> dick sucking ain't cheating. It's so foul. You know, people are it's like, I can't so wear this. Yeah. Maybe if it's just like a pajama shirt or something that you just wear around the house. Like yeah. your quarantine gear? Well, if we're staying in the dick suck lane. Yeah. Well, I mean, why don't we just kind of get into... Today I want to talk about a topic <laughs> that not many seem to think they need to know about until it's too late. Getting cum stains out <laughs> of different materials and out of your life. Is it really? So whether okay. you are embarking on a quickie and getting it on a nice blouse or on your clothes or you've got it on your sheets or you've got it. We got on, it. Uh, All yeah, the places the stuff can go. <laughs> uh, the most important thing to do is act quickly. Okay. Something tells me she's not so concerned with hygiene. If you look at that background. The background's terrible. I mean, the bed, is the sheets ripped up. She doesn't make her bed. What's all that? I is know. That but she seems equipment. she looks crazy she looks enthusiastic and ha i mean she has a good demeanor yeah, for making yeah. a video the She's presentation got, but not the background and it's one it's like i wish she would set this up as an infomercial like you ever want to get out of the house but there's cum on your dress <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea right or like right she, now she's like let's talk about it come and then a load comes flying in <laughs> From off camera. Now, see, she needs like, production. Oh. This is where we come in. We're helping she needs you. producers. Yep, exactly. She's got a Let's good message. Talk about number one, hydrogen peroxide. So that is a wonderful, wonderful tool, but also any sort of detergent based uh, product will help in removal. Duh. That's what detergents do, right? Doesn't that shit remove everything? Mm -hmm. That's the point. Another important thing to remember is never use warm water oh. when you are washing out cum. Use cool water. The warm <laughs> water is going to make it worse. Really? I promise. What? I did not know I this. would disagree because when I wash cum off my body, warm showers tend to be the thing. I think it's different. Cold showers. I think it, that'd be a different video. Well, the video would be called, do you ever have cum on your body? <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to rinse it off? But don't you find this this debate happens in, in like the cleaning a pan community? Grease. How do you yeah. get grease off a pan? Cold water or hot water? I always well, say hot water. Let's see. Let's see. 
say you get it on your sheets. Go get yourself a rag and then just kind of dab at it. Allow the cool water on the napkin or preferably rag for your uh, bedding to soak and it should clean up most of that issue so that you don't have to wash your sheets in whole. Or you could just wash it. If you've got it on a t-shirt, throw that t-shirt in the washer. Don't wash it with some other stuff. But if you've got it on a really, really nice article of clothing, take that into the dry cleaner. They know what they're doing. Wait, that's your solution? Yeah. So basically she's like, this is not a towel. I mean, she's basically like, if you get cum on a shirt, put that in the wash. Yeah. If it's nice stuff, take it to the cleaners. But and secondly, aren't you embarrassed that there's cum on your shirt? that you're going to take to the cleaner? I don't know. I'd be embarrassed. Now, another thing to keep in mind is uh, cum does weird things when it's mixed with water. So if you've got a big cum glob in your shower, make sure to rinse that down um, (laughs) as well because uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable, sticky, and globby if you are stepping in it. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Who's coming in her showers? (laughs) How much cum is in her shower? Well, she's like, I just did a fucking gangbang. So there's there's a lot of cum. Jeez. Uh, It is important to be reminded and um, to really kind of acknowledge the fact that there are easier ways to get that cum out than panicking. Panicking? I'm panicked. I'm not panicked. Uh, I got to get this cum out right now. Everyone, (laughs) my mom's here. (laughs) And it's not, I'd never have found it to be that harsh of a, a substance. It's not like red well, wine. I've never couch. thought that people are like, I just, I need a video, <laughs> some explanation. I know. Especially because I, I thought know. she was going to give us like a trick. You know what I mean? Like something where she was like, you take a cotton swab. Yeah. You get just this much vinegar. Club soda. And you, yeah. And then you go, like, oh, wow. She's like, take showers, rinse it off, wash it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's not, it's Thank not really you all good. so much for letting me yap on and on about cleaning cum out of your fabrics and your life. And I hope that this helps you in an emergency situation. Keep those white rags close. Don't use warm water. And hydrogen peroxide could be your best friend. Thank okay, so. so well, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, that's a good one, I guess. I did not, I also can't say that don't use warm water. But I also don't know that that's true. Don't use warm water. Seems she's saying that cold cold water is better for washing. Come, I don't know. I don't you know guys deal in come more than I do. You I tell don't. me. I never clean. I just what? I mean, if I get come on something, I just fucking throw it away. What? Not in the garbage. I'm just saying. I just don't deal with it. You throw it in the laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems it to just me seems like what the... I do. If I get any type of stain on anything, I'm just like, well, I guess I'll put this in the dirty clothes now. Yeah, now I now I know why our housekeeper wears gloves. I mean, even before this pandemic. Yeah. One time I saw our housekeeper cleaning our sheets and she had latex gloves and I was like, that's smart. She knows yeah. who she's dealing with. And then she put my cock ring in a nice little Ziploc bag. Yeah. And you thought she didn't know what it was because she she's Cuban. She Babe, she, she knows. They, they don't know. have that there. <laughs> she knows. She does not know. She thinks it's an eye patch. She doesn't know what that (laughs) is. An eye patch. Yes. Why do you think she put it in the Ziploc bag? Because she knew it goes a nasty part. She she hands. She goes Ferrari, and I was like, No, (laughs) don't worry about it. Open it. She didn't know. This feels like half a tutorial. I want to know more about this chick because I feel like she's got a lot of wisdom. Why don't you? Why don't you? You were giving me shit today, but can you pull up the the drip that I sent you? Oh my god. You guys are looking at fucking elevated dad flex that I fucking. He's you're looking at his shirt that he's wearing right now, and half of it's cool. Mm-hmm. Look at that shit. <laughs> and I like the top half, but then if you'll see that white tag hanging down, mm-hmm. that's a tag that you're supposed to leave on the shirt. Yeah, which, it's off white. What's that mean? That's the brand. Yeah. May I see the tag right now? Sure. Babe, that is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They want you to keep it on there. I mean, ask my fashionistas. Check out this. Any, is that cool Wait, or not to leave the tag on? Scroll it. Yeah, look at those. Look at those LeBrons on. I like your shoes. I think the my pants pants are a little flamboyant for you. I, here's what I would have done. I would have toned down the pants to wear those kicks. Really? Yeah. I think it goes well it's together. A lot of flair. Let's okay. just have any way in. Yeah, Annie's the fashionista. I like it, man. I think the. The shirt, you you could use like a jacket, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like kind of complete, you got right. like a lot of colors um, going on on the bottom. Right, right. I would like to see that. A jacket on, on top? A jacket, yeah. What do you think of the off-white tag hanging still? 
Oh yeah, hanging the tag off is still cool. It, cool. It, it, it never stopped. It's still dope. Yeah. Yeah. It shows I mean, it's brand new. It's par- it's also <laughs> for this. This is not like you know, like you know the plastic uh, strip on a price tag. This is a different type of tag hanging. You know what I mean? But but the deal is, is that it's not brand new because it's sewn onto the shirt. So but it is brand new. Every time you wear it, it's supposed to say it's supposed to look brand new, well, right? That's I mean, the point. Is that every time you wear it, you wear the tag. I know it is brand new in this case, but the next time you wear it, the tags are going to stay there, right? That's the point. As far as I know, yeah. I mean, I can't. I would not <laughs> feel comfortable taking this off. <laughs> so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. Any? You don't think it's embarrassing that if. 49 year old man excuse me excuse me a 70 year old man is i will be tags. 41 in two days i know i can't believe it i have so many surprises for you, you have no idea i'm so excited uh but i think just, you look ridiculous I, I rarely am in awe of my own drip but i am right here it looks real nice i think it's stupid now <laughs> the tag <clears> shirt <throat> and then we listen to music on the way over here and it was mall. I go put on some music because I was driving the car, and it was mall music. It was not mall music. It was yeah. First I put on. It was like, put it in your mouth. Yeah, I don't like that. It was you a got aggressive. real upset, and then I put on some Travis Scott, and you were like, "What is this?" Because it's like it was very like. It's like that auto tune. Like, what is this right here? Girl, I like you. Girl, girl. I was like, oh my god, this is for like teenagers, man. Dick sucks ain't cheating. Now Dick listen. Dick sucks ain't cheating. cheating. Um, so we had a we had an actual real situation. You're the gonna other bring day. this up? Yeah, I think it's worth it. So I've been I'm dreading actually this. Really? Yeah. I well, mean, can well, you see the just, the dread in my heart? I was like, just, this motherfucker is gonna bring this shit up. Let's just talk about it. So we had a um, they moved a mailbox in our house. It was like in one section, and then the, these guys moved it for me and they had to drill a new hole into the the lock mechanism and they gave me a key so they gave me the key and they just put some uh um a tag on it like a a, a what's it called like a post-it almost right and, and it just says mailbox like all right so i've been using that and it's on this counter when you walk into our home that has kind of some bullshit and a bunch of keys so a few days go by and Christina's like, have you gotten the mail? And I go, no. And she's like, well, we should get the mail. It's been a few days. And she actually, you, you left, you were gone for a minute. I think maybe you were doing where my mom's at or something. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take care of that right now. So I go to that table and I start and I, cause there's also a bunch of um, unmarked keys, like loose keys. I grab them all and I, I empty that table. So now there's nothing on it. Like there's nothing on it. It's completely empty. And I put all those keys in another area and I take them one by one to open the mailbox. And I spend a lot of time doing it. So I'm like, maybe that tag fell off, you know, that said mailbox. So that's why I don't know which key it is. Spend a lot of time doing it and it's not, none of them work. So I'm like, fuck. We have lost this key now. And we just replaced the yeah, fucking mailbox. Yeah, we just replaced it's gonna it. So suck. I'm like, God damn doing? it. So anyways, you come back and I'm like, you go, oh, were you able to? I go, no, I went through all the keys. It, none of them work. I think we've lost that key. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it and get another key. A couple of days go by and it comes up again. Like, oh, yeah, we need to call that guy to have him fix it and i'm in like the living room with our kids and then you walk away and you come back with mail and you're like i got the mail like how'd you get the mail and she goes because i found the key and i go where where was it and she goes on that table like the table that that you went through all the keys and i go well then you know you didn't find it she goes no i did find it because it was there i go no 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 I went through all those keys. That key wasn't there. That means that it's been placed there since then. And she goes, no, no, I found it. But I did. I no, 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 let me, let me finish. I go, no, you didn't. You f- somebody found the key and then you picked it up from the place because it wasn't there. And there's only one way to describe what you did in that situation, which is stolen valor. 
You <laughs> took the credit that somebody else oh should be God. given for finding it. She's trying to say that she found the key, but she didn't find it. Somebody placed the lost key oh in the place that keys go, and she just picked it up. She goes, now I found it. The finder is the person who found where it was when it was lost. Okay. This is stolen valor. This is the same... <laughs> This is the same thing as a guy who was like, yeah, I served in Vietnam. Oh my God. I, you know, I was there with my, my fellow uh, Marines and uh, I remember rescuing them and then they give him a purple heart. Find out he was in Pittsburgh. He was, he was at Permanente Brothers eating Sandy's. Okay. No, you weren't in not, you didn't serve and you didn't find that key. Oh and I God. just want to make that clear. I've, you've been upset with me for days. <laughs> He legit got mad at me and he was like, this is stolen valor. So first of all, he was so mad at me. So you're right. This is the key thing's been going on for, for days. And I just go, okay, well, it's my turn to bat. Like I'm the seeker of the house. That's my. I, see, this is what bothers me. Okay. You are a seeker and you do find things. And I give you credit. All the time. When you actually seek and find. What I'm saying is that you do you do not deserve seek and find credit on a gift okay. when one just goes okay. here First you go. All, That's not a seek and find. In order for it to be stolen valor, I had to have been aware of the valor stolen, and then I how was I to know that in the meantime it had been found by someone else? I literally thought when I went to the credenza, I thought, oh well, my good fortune! I can't believe I found. The key. This is amazing because it is a makeshift keychain. I made that keychain. Tell us about it's your duct time. tape. Tell us, tell us about your time in the Navy. Seals. Oh my what god! Was it's it was a duct tape keychain that I made. So I thought, well, maybe Tom didn't see it because it's an odd thing. Maybe it was tucked under something. And I literally was like, oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm the seeker of the house. I can't believe my good luck. I'm gonna go and impress my husband with my seeking abilities. I did not claim somebody else's valor, Tom. I genuinely thought I had found it in order. I'm upset that you're claiming it, that I am a stolen. It diminished the work I'm that not I a did. Thief. It diminished the time that I spent doing it. Oh my okay? God, it doesn't. You're, you're, you're crazy. You're absolutely Guys. reckless with your language. And oh my with, God. With <laughs> the it way that you- It is not stolen valor. If I'm not aware of, I wasn't, I wasn't claiming someone else's work. I, I genuinely was ignorant of the fact. So, but the, what did you do? So I, I come in with them right, out, I, and I, then what did this. you do, you psychopath? I think what if did we you were do? to tell, if we were to tell the judge about this, they, oh would, they would throw you in jail. No, they would throw you. But in listen jail. to what this psychopath does. So I get the mail. He, this is a hundred percent true. He's so angry with me because I come in and I was like, dude, I got the. What's the problem? <laughs> he was on the credenza the whole time. He gets so mad he goes no no you do not get credit no no and then he came back 30 seconds a minute later and he goes claudia found it that's our nanny she found it outside and she put it on the and i go okay babe i don't know what to tell you i literally so basically he had to go confirm that i can't get the credit for finding the keys it's fucking crazy uh, did you talk to your shriek about this one? Because I hadn't. I'm totally ignorant of. Okay, and he's so mad. By the way, I, stolen valor. I, I and I heard I about didn't. stolen valor all fucking night, like a cycle. Okay, uh, stolen valor. And then he would say to me, like, I'd be like, babe, I just fed the dog. Did you, or did someone else feed the dog? Babe, I took a shower. Did you, or did someone else take the shower? I'm like, oh my god. I don't know that Claudia found it or anything i just made that part up are you serious yeah yeah no are you being fucking yes wait a minute <laughs> you're fucking with me right no dude you fucking asshole <laughs> so wait a minute so theoretically i very well could have found it on the credenza like i originally thought no i just didn't ask her but it you know it wasn't there well, wait a minute, though. Yeah. But in order for me to have stolen someone's valor, you have to confirm the valor from which I stole. You told me Claudia found it. Now you're telling me that you did not confirm that fact with her? I did not confirm that. Oh, my her. God. So I did find the fucking mailbox no, it, key. You found it after it was placed there. By whom? Who? Babe. Who fucking put it there? Obviously. No, your eyes are old and sucky because you're old and you missed it. No, I didn't miss it. You must have missed it, babe. Babe, the table was empty. 
Na, ha, listen to me. The table. Hat, listen. The table is dark ish. The keychain is dark too, like the table. You don't understand. You don't understand. Well, oh my God. You don't understand. You're fucking crazy. You're going crazy <laughs> in your old age. Right, Nadav? Is it stolen valor? A little crazy. It's sounding <laughs> a, a little crazy from this side of the booth. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Because. Just hearing the level of anger that you were yes. at immediately after she found it. First of all, it sounds like you had a whole internal struggle that she wasn't aware yes. of, of finding that key, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just spent a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. And the, so when she said, saying, oh, so when she found the mailbox key, instead of being like, oh, good, there it is. Your instinct is to go Fuck you! You didn't find it. Yes, <laughs> that's insane. But no, I, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> but I did find it because no, now you he's didn't. telling me that Listen Claudia me. didn't find Listen it. Listen to me. You didn't find She's it. She's the only other person that comes into the house. This is the part you guys are not registering. Okay. Thank You're you, Natav. Thank you. No. Listen. The amount. First of all, we have a lot of military veterans that listen to this show <laughs> and watch this show, and when they hear this story, oh God, they are going to be not... so upset with you. They're going to be so upset with Babe. you. These guys went to boot camp. They've been <laughs> they've been on tours. They know what it is to sacrifice for our freedom and for but, our country. And you're just like, oh, I'm just going to walk in and take it away. And I don't give a shit. I'll just act like I went to boot camp, too. You didn't go to boot camp and you didn't find that key. Oh, my God. But I did. I, I did. And now that you're telling me that Claudia didn't find it, I did. Did find we the fucking key. We want to hear specifically from Army veterans, oh Marines, my God. No, please naval do. people, no Air Force vets. Oh my God, no, please. Tell us about what it's like to really serve. No. <laughs> and don't let Christina be like, oh, I just showed up today. Do I get a uniform? Have a, where's my oh gun? Oh my God. Yeah. But in order to, to steal someone's valor, the person has to be aware that they're stealing. I, I, you're telling me that I'm... I, w I really thought you had confirmed this with Claudia. I cannot believe you. <laughs> She's the only other person I that know. comes into our home. So, I know. I know. So then now who could have... You're fucking crazy. <laughs> He's turning into uh, The Shining. Somebody put his <laughs> face on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there it is. All when work I'm and no here play. And the door is shut because I'm fucking working. All work and no play. And now he has an office in this house we live in. And boy, God forbid, if one of us goes in there when he's not around, or maybe the kid wanders in there. <laughs> the other day I turned off the light because it was time to go to sleep. And he was like, you're in my office? What are you in my office for? Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm like, oh my God, you psycho. What the fuck is wrong? So much misdirected anger. Yeah. This is why I have to milk this bear on a regular milking schedule. Otherwise, life gets very tough for me and the kids. With all, in all honesty, though, in all honesty, there's nothing more <laughs> revolting than stolen valor. Oh, my God. I did not <laughs> steal valor. Here's what you're not understanding, guys. Oh, my God. Because I can tell in the booth you're horrible juriors right now. You don't understand the, the full... I, we just need a better... Pre that table was emptied. It was emptied. There was nothing on. It would be like saying, like, what's on this Yana. right now? Completely empty. It was Nam. empty. Nam. Yes, Nam. It, you weren't there. Nam. You weren't there. Now, because your glasses. I yeah. see that they're on your face right yes. now, Tom. <laughs> yes. Were they on your face when you were doing this whole mailbox no. key thing? No. No. Mm. Wait. But another pair were on. So these are only for the office. I Yana. Leave here. Oh, okay. But like seeing gla not like sunglasses or something. Right. Okay. Yana, may I submit to the jewelry a piece of evidence now, the reason I am called the seeker in the house is because he'll be like, I can't find my wallet. I can't find my fucking wallet. And then I'll go upstairs and I will literally, next to his bed. Let the record show this is a hostile witness, okay. Your Honor. Literally, this is the wallet. And I'll go into his nightstand and I'll go, here's your wallet. And you go, why'd you find that? How'd you find that witchcraft? How'd you know that wizardry? And I'll go, <laughs> because I lifted up the cloth, the sweater that was covering it. Like, he's not a good looker. He's not. Like, uh, for, you, I have to be very specific with you. Like, babe, go down. can you go downstairs and get the baby monitor? Where is it? It's on the counter. Is it near the coffee machine or is it near the... I'm like, it's on the fucking counter on the, in the kitchen. What about the plug? It's right next to the thing. I don't know. Just look. He's not a good looker. He's not a good seeker. You're not a good seeker. Can you just admit to that? 
All right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got those. those but w- I will say this. I would never disrespect our Army oh my Rangers, God, I'm not our gonna- Special Forces, Green Berets, Navy SEALs. You guys, no, I respect don't. so much what you've done, and I would no. never be like, I, I know what it's like to do what you do. I don't oh know if she God. can say the same thing. Oh, God. You and your fucking mole eyes. You've got dad mole eyes. What's mole eyes? You know, moles have poor vision. Okay. You never had Thumbelina? The point is, Thumbelina, a children's story, but the mole with poor vision. Okay, no, the point dick is. dick sucks ain't cheap. Dick sucks ain't cheap. <sighs> so anyway, that's been my problem with you this week in quarantine. Also... I've got some big news. Yeah. Really big news. May I have some sound effects, please? Oh, okay. This will shatter the listeners to their core. Suwu. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking for. I like chips in a bowl. I, I want explosions. I know. This is Captain Marcel. <laughs> My sister went down. I'm going down to the mountain. Um, I don't know where those are. I okay. Really don't. Can you make the noise with your mouth, please? Retarded. There you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good new S-A-R-T. one. S A R T. There you go. These are all okay. good sounds. <laughs> oh, I'll make you come. All okay. of those. Okay. Now, <sighs> let's just say this quarantine has changed many people's lives in big ways. In big ways, it's affected our day to day existence. It's affected everyone's lives. In the past. I have been very vocal about my preference mm-hmm. for Skippy peanut butter. Yes. Smooth, not crunchy. Yes. Because of this quarantine and shortage of said Skippy in the grocery store and flour, by the way, I can't get a bag of flour to save my goddamn life or Nutella. Forget no, about Nutella. You can't get it anywhere. I've been eating Jif. Mm-hmm. Creamy, not crunchy. And the other day I got some Jif, I mean, Skippy left over. I found a little bit of Skippy. I tasted it. I don't like it anymore. You have converted. This is one of the I'm, original arguments we had. I'm saying Skippy versus right Jif. now, and I'll say it into the camera. I like Jif over Skippy. It makes me forgive you for stealing Valor. <laughs> it does. It makes me think that, you know what? You're crazy. And you now that I know Claudia didn't even find the keys, you're absolutely. <laughs> you lied to me. Yeah. You bold faced lied to me. To your face. You really lied to me. And I, I really walked around feeling messed up. Like, <laughs> did I did I steal Ballard? Did I feel bad? Did I? You had me guessing everything inside of me. No. <laughs> I take it back. I like Skippy. <laughs> I'm not on Team Jeff. No, you said you're Team Jeff, and I appreciate it. Don't touch me. <laughs> Psycho hand. I love you. I love you. I love you. Not really. I love you. But I will say. I love you, Xanadu. You're going to bring her up right now. But can we talk about it? Yeah. I do like Jif now. It's sugary, and it tastes more like real peanuts. And I tried Skippy after I had been getting used to Jif. What's the comparison? Yeah, what is well, it? Well, now Skippy tastes like a greasy, flavorless pan. It just tastes like grease. Uh, yeah. yeah like go, oily. Uh, and Jif tastes... Peanutty delicious. Yeah. I, I totally... That's an immigrant thing. That's like how I use Aquafresh toothpaste. That's my dad raised me on. I still like Aquafresh. Right. But o- it is... Aquafresh. Aquafresh is the best. Yeah. Uh, but... I do. I like. I like Jif now. Also, also, I hate to admit it, but you got me into fake grass. I tried to convince her of this a while ago. I'm embarrassed. And that, like, you know, it's also you save water, you save um, I'm landscaping, all that stuff. And she was like, "Nah, it's got to be real grass. It was not real grass." <laughs> oh my god! And she'd do that, and then <laughs> I was like, "Jesus Christ!" And I kept trying to get her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we got a nice little f- patch of fake grass and the verdict. I love it. It's fantastic. Now, the only thing I don't understand is how does it collect the water and do- you like, know, the where does dog it go? pees on it? Yeah, like do we have to change it out a lot? Or I like, don't know anything about it either. How does this shit I don't know work? the function know. of it or anything, but it is amazing. It looks so much better and, and it's these easier. These days, you know, because they had fake grass when we were kids and yeah. it was like, it was shit. 
now it, it looks and feels like grass. It's amazing. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on this. When you walked away and you came back and you told me. Yeah. You said, I texted Claudia. Yeah. She said she found them outside. Yeah. That was a lie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was so upset. Well, the thing was. <laughs> you <laughs> lied to me. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I believe. You know what we you? should do? Why don't we call her right now? Sure. Let's see if she did. Let's see if she did. I can't fucking believe it. And I was like, wow. And I go, you texted her? Like, I couldn't believe you were this fired up. I know. And then when you told me she found it, I thought, okay, I, I guess I did something. I must have done something wrong. But the truth is, I'm the seeker. I'm just a better you are, seeker. You are the seeker. I do give you credit for that. I find everything in the house, babe. It's my job. I find lovies. I find passies. I find... Please leave your message. Oh, oh we damn. don't get good reception, yeah. Yeah. Damn. It's lunchtime, maybe. But I would say that... Lunch. Here's the thing. She probably did find it and put it there. At them. I found it. No, no. I made that keychain. I'm saying she probably found it and put it where you ended up finding okay. it. Okay. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Now I'm mad that you lied to me and you came back like you really did that. I How know. much are you lying to me because your acting is good? Mm. That's the problem is I don't lie to you because I'm not good. Right. You're a professional liar. <laughs> You're scaring me now. <laughs> How much are you fucking, like Ellis, you're like, oh, go look, something's flying outside. And then you trick him and he looks over here and then, you know? Yeah. You're just tricking me left and right? Left and right. What else are you lying to me about? You shut up. You do the show. Oh, my God. All right. Red flags. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, yeah. Xanadu. Let's discuss Xanadu. Okay, let's talk about Xanadu. So... I've been getting into wigs now because, uh, well, I've wanted to for a long time, but this is kind of the best time because these roots ain't getting any better and I can't see my hairdresser for right. months. months. It's going to look like shit come months. July when we yeah. finally can. So I've been ordering these. There's going to be a bunch of gray dogs walking around for sure. A right? lot of gray dogs, a lot yeah. of bitches like me. The roots. Those roots coming in and it's yeah. not going to be cute. Do you remember when you had your hair done one time? Yeah. My God. I know what you're thinking years ago, And you got it brown? Here's why I was going to the Middle East uh, to do gigs for our troops, by the way, uh, for the United States military, the Marines, the Navy, and the Army. <laughs> and then, to Afghanistan, yeah, I flew into um, Kyrgyzstan. Did you I tell them went one, to day, Bagram, one day? One day, one day I will betray you in a way that you'll never <laughs> ever forget. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. I even did gigs there. So I, I was kind of self-conscious about being a blondie going to these really volatile parts. Yeah. And I decided to have my hair dyed brown, like to match yeah. kind of what's going on here. And Dude, you were so upset. I came home. I've never, I've never in I 15 years it. seen you like this. I cried. She looked great, by the way. They, no, they I did didn't. It. You did. I don't like. Bra no, my like, hairdresser did a great job. You, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. He did yeah, a great job. Not Alan's fault. No, but you flipped about it. It's just my identity to be a blonde. I grew up blonde. I just, it's who I am. I don't I've, like having I've never brown seen, hair. I mean, you were like. It's who I am. It's like if Native didn't have his beautiful fiery red locks. Yeah. So any hoodles, I've been getting into wigs. I'm starting to watch all the videos on uh, YouTube. And I learned that you can't watch the white girls. I watch black ladies only because mm -hmm. they know what the fuck is up with wigs. Yep. And they're teaching me how to cut my lace. And they're teaching me how to fucking glue that shit on and create baby hairs. It's awesome. So on, Z on Amazon... I've been buying all kinds of fun wigs, and last night I debuted Xanadu. Xanadu. Yeah, she's got <laughs> she's got bleachy, silvery, about to here, and then it's pink, long like Cardi B. Yeah, I'll tell you something. I get rock hard right away, right away. <laughs> How uncomfortable is this making all of our listeners? <laughs> is this like hearing mom and dad talk about? Maybe. I don't know. But you love it. And I, I feel like for quarantine life, yeah, it's kind of the way to go. It's great. Plus, you do more chores after. Chores? Uh, when I uh, manipulate you sexually. What I did I do? No, but I feel like you're more amenable. Now, I'm not, I didn't realize you were lying to me about key stuff. But before that, you're much nicer once I've milked you with a wig on. I didn't lie to you. I. <sighs> it's husband I, management. I didn't it's bear lie to management. you. I presented the likely scenario. You said you texted her and yeah. she. <laughs> yeah. 
Because here's the that thing. That is crazy, Tom. <laughs> yeah. That's not within normal. Here's the thing. I Baby, was... I would never be like, I texted somebody. <laughs> I have never lied to you on that scale. I was so upset. But <laughs> <laughs> Try calling her again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't believe you lied to me. I'm, Why? What else have you lied about in 15 years together? I can't believe you fucking lied like that, yeah. babe. Well, I had to. You're out of your mind. You got to talk to your shrink about this one. <laughs> you were triggered up, man. Died again. Yeah, the reception. Yeah. Fuck, man. Yeah. You lied. All right. I would never be like, let me go text somebody, and imaginary texting, and then come back. I know, because I. what happened was I go, I should text her and find out, you know, that, that you obviously stole the valor. Oh, and my God. And then in that in that moment, I was like, "I'll just say that I did," you know. Yeah. <sighs> wow, we got to go to marriage counseling. This Over is that? crazy. Really, babe, you straight up lied to me. So you what? never. I mean, I haven't caught you lying to me like this before. Is that is that a you think that's a big lie? Yeah, it's the beginning. <laughs> it's a slippery slope. What else are you lying to me about? Mm. Oh my! I knew it. I knew it. You've got a double life. Remember how I'm always joking to you? Yeah. And I'm like, wouldn't it be crazy if you had like a second family? What if I did? Different. What if I had a second family in Utah? What if I did? Okay. There's Anyways. a lot of connecting flights at Salt Lake City. Bam. Check it out. This is not a game, man. I wear my whoop all day, every day. We're living in a wild time right now. Anxiety is at an all time high. And when we're stressed and don't sleep well, our immune systems take the hit and we're mo more prone to getting sick. I am a big, big believer in using this Whoop to monitor, report, and study my sleep data. Uh, it is Whoop is best in class when it comes to sleep tracking. If you know when you're going to bed based on how strenuous your day was, when you're stressed more than normal, and how it affects your sleep, they give you all that feedback. And of course, com uh, combined with the data of the strain you're putting on yourself from working out, it is an absolute game changer. So if you're stuck at home training, Whoop has that built-in strain coach, helps you set goals. It's fantastic. Um, optimize your sleep and performance with Whoop, sleep better, and get personalized insights. For our listeners, Whoop is offering 15% off with the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to Whoop, that's W-H-O-O-P.com. Enter the code YOURMOM at checkout and save 15% off. Sleep better, recover faster, train smarter, optimize your performance with whoop oh we all need a break every now and then why not take a break uh but keep your brain active while you relax which is why i like playing best fiends that's a great way to describe it you keep your brain active while you relax it's not like one of those stressful games there's a lot of games i don't like to pay, play uh that you know i've seen tom playing because i get too fired up i don't want to get yes anxiety filled yeah i yes. don't like that stuff what i like about best fiends is that it's a puzzle game it's challenging just enough like, like you figure out how to get the goal and then it bumps you up to the new level and it's a different type of thing i love the characters they're super cute they make cute sounds um it's kind of an intangible thing but i really enjoy it it's like it's like eating candy for your brain. It feels it feels good and it feels fun. Best Fiends updates the game monthly with new levels and events so it never gets old. Best Fiends treats the game like a service for their players. It doesn't require internet to play, so you don't need to worry about Wi-Fi access or using cell data. Best Fiends has thousands of levels already with new levels, events, and characters added every month. It's hours of fun right at your fingertips and you can even play offline. With over 100 million downloads and tons of five-star reviews, Best Fiends is a must-play. Download Best Fiends free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. Dude, what? how about we did our pre-show meeting and we were talking about the dentist? Oh my God, yeah. And Potter? He's got a fucking problems too. Holy. I don't know who's crazier, you or Potter, right now. Well, this is. <laughs> <laughs> How did we bring this up? What, I don't what? think mine's that crazy. Wait, nobody thinks. I mean, it is crazy, is but crazy. yeah. It's... But wait a minute. How did we bring this kid. up? What were we talking about? 
Uh, we were talking because you're talking about becoming 20 milligram, Tom. Right. And I was saying how like before I had, I don't remember why, but I before I smoked weed, I used to have a little bit more of a trigger. That's what it was. You're like, if I hadn't discovered weed, we're talking about weed consumption. Yeah. You're like, if I hadn't discovered weed, I think I would be, you know, this other person. Like, uh, yeah, there would be some like issues. you didn't temper start, issues. Yeah. You didn't start smoking weed until what age? Like, uh, I didn't start. I'd never, my first time was when I was 19. I decided to make it a daily ritual at 22. At 22. Yeah. So before, and when then I we started were like, stand up actually. Yeah. So then you're like, wait, how could, um, that be such a thing? And then, uh, well, I gave you an example of a time when, uh, perhaps I wasn't as patient as maybe I should have been or, uh, yeah. I wasn't, um, what's the word? I didn't handle myself, you know, the way a person probably should Yeah. in a situation at the dentist office. And, uh, it was, you know, the dentist was doing his thing and dentists have the propensity to not only lecture you about what you're doing wrong. Yeah, oral hygiene and everything. Right, but then they also like to add a bit of a tone of demeaning. A demeaning tone. A, deme- a demeaning <laughs> kind tone. Kind of condescending. Condescending tone mm. that just, um, it really doesn't sit well with me. And uh, in the moment, uh, at that time, I was about 14, and uh, he kept just, like, making, like, Oh, you know, he was getting really like, it's like, yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? But he just kept laying into it. What was he saying? I don't remember the specifics of it, but it was just the typical. It was like, because here's man, the thing: when I think you're about not the flossing, right, stuff like that. Like when I look back at it, I don't. Rem- it's like uh, the teacher from Charlie Brown is going like, want, 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 but his, the tone and the way that he said it to me is so. That one is so specific, but the words are just noise right do you know what i mean but the tone is essentially like so disrespectful like hey idiot yeah do what i'm telling you to do yeah like you wouldn't have this problem not even like i'm an idiot yeah like i am not a person like i am a uh, like i am uh some hobo on the street that you can just be like listen uh you fucking nothing like that kind of thing like (laughs) i Got to the point after I said something to him about it. I said, "Okay, I get it." Do you know what I mean? Like I made it right. Yeah, I got clear it. that I yeah. got it, and he kept saying something. I go, "Listen, if you talk to me like that again, I'm gonna take that scrapey thing and put it in your neck." And then uh, <laughs> he said, "What?" And I said, "Don't talk to me like that. At all. It, it's not gonna. It's not gonna go." Like I was upset. Like I was getting really. Very, much, I'm getting very enraged right now. I mean, it probably doesn't wait now. Let's go show, back, show, but I'm my blood is boiling let's thinking pause, about it. Let's pause for a moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. How old were you when you said this to this man? About 14 or so, 14 <laughs> or 15. So he was condescending, yeah, and, and demeaning. You feel this d- disrespectful, very disrespectful. I don't handle that particularly well. It doesn't sound like it. Had you been disrespected before by somebody that? Oh, all the, but it's a, it's a level of it because like I can handle, you know, people can talk shit to me or whatever, ball bust, whatever that there's a difference than when a person in society talks talks to you you in a certain way. Of course. When, when you're the dentist and it's like, okay, man, I get it. Like, I know I suck at whatever and I should do it better. I get that you have to tell me that or whatever. It's part of the lecture. But when you have a certain tone about it where you treat me like I'm subhuman, I'm not going to allow that to go down. Mm-hmm. And back then I didn't handle it politically uh, as I <laughs> maybe would in this day and age as an adult. Uh, but yeah, so I said that to him and he said, what? And I told him, and then uh, he, uh, he just left the room and uh, he went and he just told my, and then my dad came into the room. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> And I was like, this guy fu- thinks he can fucking just talk to me like I'm some fucking asshole, like just because my teeth are shitty or something. Like, fuck him. And then we we just we didn't go to that dentist anymore. Uh, after and did that, you finish there, what you were doing that day or no? No, I mean it was done. It was uh, done. I mean he was. I mean it was. I don't know if he, he just, I don't know if I had like half a cleaning or three quarter where he was in the process. But he but must was, have been saying it repeatedly to you, to you to get that reaction, right? Yeah, he just kept going back at like it was multiple times. Yeah, it was to the point where I said to him, "I I get it," like sternly, "I get it, man." Yeah, you know. And then he just was like, 
just kind of like even just like muttering things yeah under his breath and things like that and it's just to the point where like and my sister had it too and she she's said to me since then she was like yeah that dentist like made me cry one time oh wow so, so this guy really it? might have been a real dick though. yeah 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 so i mean uh but had... the boldness of a 14 year old <laughs> yeah. being like i will put this instrument in your neck that was uh 14 yeah. year old josh was a, a bit more b- uh, brash i would were say. you saying shit like that all the time to people I mean, uh, if they, if they, if I felt like I was disrespected, I would say shit like that to me. Really? Yeah. Wow. Can you I, think of another time you would talk like that? Nothing to like that where it's like a dentist or anything. It's more just kind of like in passing or maybe probably to other kids mostly. But yeah. So like in school where you like, I'll fucking crack your head wide open. I, <laughs> I would say shit like that, but I, I was also like small, you know what right. I mean? So I would, I would have to make it elaborate, you know, where it was like real fucked up so that they would not fuck, you know, like. I can't say, like, I'm going to smash your head through something because, like, there's probably physically no way that I could do that. Right. But right. I would be like, someday you're going to go to sleep and uh, and you're not going to know what might happen to you in that moment or what might not happen to you. know, things like that. Like, just oh, ominous boy. ominous threats more than... I was like, you know... I, I Like I said, I couldn't threaten physical violence in the moment. I had to, like, make it scarier in some way, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I've been triggered. Uh, recently, I was triggered by somebody. Remember, I had a bee sting that was getting swollen and infect, like infected, and I was alone with the kids, and I had to go to urgent care. Oh yeah, this is like recently, and this mother. F- I'm in urgent care, right? What's the first word? Urgent, urgent. Yeah. sense of hustle. There was one doctor on duty. It wasn't a fucking doctor. He was an RN or whatever. Oh, yeah. So I hear this motherfucker lollygagging in the room next to me talking about boats in Florida and this and that. And I'm like, I got to go, bro. Like, I got, I, you know, I got, I got two kids. I got my arm is all fucking swelling up. I hear him laughing like a donkey and doing his bullshit. So finally, when he gets in, I've been, he keeps me waiting for like 20 minutes lollygagging, talking about golf. Mm-hmm. I was like this motherfucker old white man motherfucker I was like already like this fucking see I actually think your temper is scarier than entitled mine. white guy shit probably because I've also had at times been like don't say that <laughs> like you can't say that <laughs> or, like, you need to go apologize I've, I've said oh you said that to her to her yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause cause sometimes she'll be like, I sometimes I agree and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> or I'll say like hey you need to text this person back for me because I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna be cool like the tone will be fucked up because I'm too angry right now like, I know when to hand the wheel yeah. to Tommy. I'll be like, I can't, bro. Like, I can't. Well, that's what weed's done for me, essentially, is been able to have that conversation with myself. Mm. Where wait, so I've wait. now been able to be like, yeah, yeah. Don't do don't that. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't do that. Because, I mean, if I hadn't had weed throughout comedy, I would have probably burned some bridges across the way. You know what I mean? Like, And, you, uh, and you, the thing is, now you realize that there are people that do. Like, you, we know who they are. You know what I mean? Like, right. the person... The yeah. Josh without weed person out there. There's a few of them where you're like, that person keeps fucking that up. That person needs help. Keeps keeps burning those bridges, I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know? there's that. Yeah. And then you have examples, of course. Yeah. Right. That's that's what I mean. And plus I was young and in that time I, I don't know what it was. I thought I like knew everything about everything and you know, you're when you're a fucking stupid teenager, you you do stupid shit and you say dumb shit like that. But uh yeah, that one I mean, I, I never saw that dentist again, so I can't even yeah. like be like, were you scared or were you anything? Because he just kind of like up and left. And then I didn't see him after he left the room. Like my dad came in and he's like, well, we got to get out of here. And so we left and uh, that was that. That reminds that's the time like when I called that guy and threatened to kill him. Yeah, uh, with your mom. With my mom. Right. Yeah. You have those moments yeah. where then you learn from them, I suppose. But um, yeah. yeah, what I learned was like, don't use my phone to make that call. Right, right. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like so it. That guy that came in to help me, he wasn't even a doctor. He was like the right. So wait, so you heard him fucking around, shit. and wait, yeah. then he came in. So by the time he got to me, I'm fucking furious because this is an it's an emergency care situation, and I hear him lollygagging, and I was like, "All right, bro, let's go TikTok." Like my arm is fucking blown up, you know. Mm-hmm. I got kids. I got to go back, and he looks at it, and he's like, "Nah, it's fine." And I'm like, "This is fine." I go, "This is not fine, bro. Like this is crazy. This is not normal for me." So I call our doctor. Mm-hmm. our primary care guy who's a dr dick 
And I was like, dude, talk to this fucking nurse, dude. He doesn't know what the fuck is up. And I hand the phone because I, I need to get medicine. I want to get Imagine some. if you're that guy. And I don't she's fuck like, him. You're not a real. Ho- you're not a, he's guy. not a doctor. He's <laughs> not a doctor. And I want a drugs in case it gets a, it, it is infected. I want my fucking penicillin so I don't have to come back twice. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So I go tell, tell this motherfucking nurse to give me drugs. And he got so mad. The guy was like, next time you decide to call your doctor. You should tell me beforehand. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. I'm like, just write me the prescription. Let me get out of here. He did. Yeah, he did. (laughs) But he triggered the fuck out of me. Because I don't like lollygaggers, man. This is serious. Yeah, Yeah, it's not a lollygag on me, bro. It's not necessarily a medical thing for me, necessarily. It could be any any sort of a thing. You know, like, uh, I've had it even at, like, a 7-Eleven or something where the person, like, just is acting shitty towards you. Like this is, mm. bef- you know, I can let these things slide a little bit better now, but someone just being shitty to you yeah. for no reason. You ever just speak up about it and not let it slide? Cause it's kind of fun Try sometimes when yeah. you're just like, oh, do you enjoy being a piece of shit? It, it, you having a fun day? <laughs> is this helping your day go by quicker being a real fucking asshole? You know what I mean? Like pointing th- things like that yeah. out is still fun from that time to fun. time. It's fun to ask people who are be- like shitty service. Um, if you go, if you ask them if it's their first day, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's when they're fun. shitty, you're like, "Just your first day," and they're like, "What?" And you go, is "Your first time doing this? <laughs> is this your first time as a flight attendant? First flight?" It's also I learned more <laughs> fun to a first flight. Yeah. You're a real. You say that shit to people. I've said it first first time before. Yeah. You know what else is fun to this? to yeah. say to people like that is uh, to to put it on the inverse and compliment them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I but do in that. a shitty way. You yeah. know what I mean? We've been like. You know, uh, like you said, for your for, for like a, a waitress or something, be like, man, this. You know, I thought it, this was gonna be bad, cold, but it was good. You know, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tend to kill the cunts with kindness, like yeah. mean flight attendants. Yeah, because generally I, they come around, but sometimes they don't, and then I'll be like, really? You're still when they're real assholes, thing? though, because okay. my impulse is to be like, you know, you're a fucking dumb cunt. Yeah. For the, <laughs> To the flight attendant. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah. And then, like, I'll just tell myself how shitty their life is. Me too. And then I'll just be like, um, you know, I'll I'll try to let that <laughs> sink in. And then, you know, when when the 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 rage dissipates. Yeah. Then I can be. Uh, I can. I don't know. I can. I can go through the rest of that moment without wanting to. Right, because you imagine how grumpy she's being or he's being because mm. their life sucks. Well, I you know you're like, oh, you're honey. I think I've seen, and I think uh, you would agree. Our rage manifests similarly, and that's quietly. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not like an outward thing. Yeah, I'm not a screamer. I don't. No, no, no. But I mean, when you get pissed at something, a scenario or something like that, it's known, right? Yeah. I mean, like you make it known. But oh, here she is. Oh, please, oh, boy. Okay. please. Solve God. this okay. mystery. Oh, here we go. Please. Hello. Hey, Claudia. Yeah, Hi. Hey. It's okay. I have the question for you. So uh-huh. the other day we, um, we couldn't find the mailbox key and then it just appeared on the credenza table. Did you happen to find it and place it there? No, I didn't. Okay. So it must have been somebody else. Okay. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, that's all right. We were just trying to find out why Christina is making up this story. But that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. You're so fucking loaded. Oh, your booty exploded all over. Got to ask Cynthia. Bullshit. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, she's not looking for keys. You fucking owe it to me. What are you gonna do to make it up to me? I'm thinking. I'll tell Lilies. you. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> massage tonight I'll, I'll make it up to you i'll make it up to you big time for the lie the lie but here's the thing about the and lie and the stolen here's dollar. the thing you i was were so mad let at me, me tell you about the lie i was gonna tell you the lie immediately i swear and then i immediately thought of this show and i thought it would be better to tell <sighs> now you you're telling a second lie no it's true it's lying true. on lies on lies no 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 it's true it's true i was gonna tell God. you and i was like it's better to reveal it on the show Cause I was going to tell you the next day too. And I was like, it's, I go, it'd be such a waste to get that reaction. Not on camera. I did find the key. You did find it I after am... somebody placed it there. I'll give you that. Somebody. Yes. Who, after kids? Somebody. Uh, we got to talk to Ellis. We haven't asked Ellis. Oh, fuck off. You want to ask Ellis? You're so busted, dude. 
Uh, the seeker. Let's prevails. ask Ellis. Did, he, did you find the key? Employee? Un-fucking-real. Let's ask him. Oh, stop. <laughs> Can you call him on his phone? <laughs> Let's ask her to put him on the phone real quick. <laughs> Ellis did not find it, babe. He may have. I'm thinking about all the times I've been mad at someone irrationally. Yeah. It happens. It used to happen a lot more when I was a feature act and I'd be up at five in the morning at the airports and shit. Oh, man. Mad at people. I know. I had so many violent fantasies. Yeah, so did I. You know? I'm just not as angry anymore. Neither am I. Not Neither am I. Yeah. And I did. I, I thought about this um, really shitty flight attendant. I thought I talked about it on this show. Like a really There's a lot fucking, of those. Just a nightmare of a fucking flight attendant, you know? And yeah. out of the gate, I had two recently that were just assholes. And in the moment, like when, it, when, when, you're, when you start registering, like this person's being a, a dick to me, you know? You want to be like, hey, what the fuck is your problem? I know. And then I was like, I don't know. I wanted to tell them like, you know, I don't even fly commercial that much. So if this is what it's like. <laughs> Stupid. You know, on, in the private world, they just are Stop it. different than you. Well, I do feel like. <laughs> and then I felt good. <laughs> you know? I do, I do know that being um, a flight attendant, it's not obligatory. Like you may choose that to as be a what? profession. Oh, right, right, right. Same as any customer service. Like, it's yeah, a chosen profession. Exactly. And how about this? When people are like, oh, you know, they go through a lot. I get it. And then, like, there's pieces of shit flying. Of course there are. It's like, but. Yeah. You know, if you're this miserable, like do something else, man. Yeah, fucking go I've dig ditches, dummy. Every job, yeah, I would rather than deal with the public. God damn! Mm. How about some more confrontation? You want to see some? Yep. You're all gonna like this one. You know. Understand that, but you're trespassing. <laughs> you're threatening me with a weapon, climbing oh, a wall. Shit. Yeah, I'm I have you. Anybody. I have you on camera, and oh, I have I'm you. I'm not threatening you. you, you I'm gonna go over okay. and cut that. Well, he's gonna cut down his his neighbor's. Plant. Oh, that's against the you rules. You can't do that. Come over the wall and trim my plant. Is this your plant? Is this your property? No, it's not. It would be against the law for you to climb that wall and to cut these plants. I'm going to cut it down. I'm about to blow up the goddamn place. Okay, now you're threatening to blow up the goddamn place? <laughs> I'm calling son the cops, bitches. Diane. You goddamn Have bastard good... son of a bitches. You too, Diane. Have a good day. Diane? Diane? Are you sure about that? That's a, a lady. Is that a Zer? A Zer lady. Holy shit. Oh, I'm going to have my camera set so if anything happens, I'll know exactly who did it. I can't get a hold of Alex and Roger. They won't what? answer their phone. Diane, all you had to do was ask me for their number. I would have given I it to you. Then give me another number. Okay, I will. But what incentive answer. do I have to give it to you now that you've treated me like this? I have no incentive to give you any positive politeness at all, do I? You were nothing but rude and belligerent. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> yes, you too. Thank you. <sighs> Diane. Where is that? Do you know where that is? <laughs> no. It's like California. I'd say menopause was rough on Diane. <laughs> Fuck. Sucked every last bit of estrogen out of her. I mean, the last <laughs> thing I would have guessed uh, it would be that that's, you know, oh. not a guy. Oh, my God. I thought for sure it was a dude. Yeah. The voice is weird, but that's about it. <sighs> Do you have um, the runner? Do you have Stefan Diggs? Do you know about? Yeah, we were. I was trying to show you this with Josh earlier. Mm. New Buffalo Bills signee Stefan Diggs, running twenty three miles an hour on a treadmill. Mm. Um, pretty fucking fast. Okay, and then, that's terrible. Right, just in a full sprint, and he turns around. Whoa! Let him turn a little more. Let's see that. Oh my god! Oh my god! And he, he's not hard because he just no. He's ran. not hard. He's That's, definitely not hard. But he's got all this change in his pocket because he, <laughs> he was just at the bank. He's got rolls of yeah, quarters. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Look at that thing. Babe, and he's running, and that's usually when the weenie gets shrunken, right? It gets smaller to protect itself. Yeah. That means his natural hang is crazy. Look at that dog. What is he doing with it? I mean, is it like tucked? What? What was what? that? I'm just licking my chops. You know, the funny thing is Josh posted this and like all the people were like, it's not running. He's on a treadmill. And he's like, we're talking about his cock right now. <laughs> Who cares? And then they're like, it's not real running. First of all, put do me a favor. 
Record yourself running at 23.0 on your treadmill and see how that goes. And then show us your cock right after. (laughs) (laughs) I'd say that's a really good idea, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go ahead and send those. Send those in. Punch up girl. at Uh, No. What? We're talking about. Your mom's podcast. You're not going to your mom's podcast at gmail.com. You're not going to want that out there. (laughs) No, it's already on my website. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. It's public. It's my public email. All right. Wow. You're going to get some real interesting emails. Um, Look at that, guys. Physique. I think we got it. You can put. You can change it now. I do think that nylon increases the appearance of one's dong. That's true. That's it, true. St- sweatpants, nylon, make them look bigger. Oh yeah! Remember your dick shorts in Miami when you came out of the water? Oh my god! <laughs> That's a ni- that was a nylon purchase. That's why, dude. They were see through. I got we didn't have trunks, <laughs> and then I got in two places. Dick, oh, those are the dick shorts from the Dominican, from Diaria. I was yeah, right. and, you and wore so them in Miami. I got I, I just threw them in the bag. We go to Miami, and that's the only pair. You know, I wasn't <laughs> traveling with multiple swim trunks. I put them on, I, and then I walk in the ocean. I walk out. <laughs> see-through completely see-through. and they were white yeah white see-through <laughs> i don't mean like you could see the outline it was just a photograph it was just fully clear like pubes everything dick and balls and you had a friend with you who was like it's nice to meet you too <laughs> a girl little children running around yeah, like oh like, my god um. but here's the thing in miami <laughs> nobody was like oh wow it was just nobody like the norm shit. miami yeah. is just like yeah throw your dick out man yeah um uh, those are good dick shorts you ready to see some fired up shit <laughs> okay all right diane fucking bitches need to stop <laughs> hacking my shit and looking at my dick do you fucking hear me i want my fucking messages from kelsey stop blocking our messages it says she's blocked <laughs> okay. i can't get a fucking hold of her on any fucking platform i haven't had a message from her in five fucking days dude i don't know what the fuck to do dude He's really upset. Can you fucking hear me? Oh Someone my. fucking help me. I just want my fucking friend back to fucking get a fucking message. Where's my fucking <laughs> friends, dude? Honestly, how can you not fucking be a fucking friend when you're a friend, you fucking assholes? <laughs> how can you not be He's, a friend when you're a friend? <laughs> the black nail polish remnants on the nails. There's a lot going on here. You guys are fucking douchebags. You think you fucking care about me? Look at how you're fucking making me feel. Are you fucking stupid by hacking me? I fucking feel like shit, dude. Thanks for fucking up my life. Very fucking funny, you fucking piece of shit, Asian ass bitch. Guarantee you some fucking gooks on their fucking command center. On the command center? What's the command know. center? Like Buzz know. Lightyear? Got racist there. In all fairness, he might be Asian himself, though. Not, I mean, that makes it a little easier, isn't it? What mm. kind? I don't know, but he's dark, dark hair. I don't know, it could be Asian. It could be Asian adjacent. It could be half Asian. Could be. I don't know. I'm just trying to help a brother out, okay? I'm just right. trying to be as positive as possible in this time of quarantine. In his offense, he's very upset. He is. He might be a you little. Might, you <laughs> might be a little racist when you're troubled. that upset. <laughs> Fucking Asian bitch. Yeah. I don't know, man. Hmm. Okay. Oof. I don't know. I don't know what the dick stuff was. Hacking my shit and looking at my dick. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I feel like this Fucking is. Bitches. This is such a story to get into. Like, what's who hacked who? And I why? know. I don't know. I, I just don't know. But I, I don't want to get into it. I kind of feel like I don't. It feels bad. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to. You fucking piece of shit, Asian ass bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just love that people put this out on the internet. Yeah. He brought, he put this out there. Yeah. It's a really wild message. Why would message. you hear that? Yeah. Hmm. Good job. Yeah. Oh, so what happened to us, I'm so tired because at four in the morning, I oh. heard our smoke alarm battery got low. And so every, you know, and you get that sweet sound every two minutes. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> chirp. So just as you're like, oh, I hope that doesn't happen again. And you get into denial and you're like, I'll yeah. just go back to sleep. Chirp, chirp. It's a weird, it's the, that, chirp. it's not a 10 second or even, it's like, 48 seconds apart <laughs> is how they put the chirps, you know, so you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like 
<laughs> and then you start, you fall back. And start, <laughs> I know. That smoke detector just telling you, like, it's almost That's like, the could worst. they just fucking program it not to chirp? Yeah, is there a another certain way? window of time? Is there another way? Just a light that flashes. I covered my ears. So you were able to cover your ears. I had to move into. How did you not? So how did tired. you still hear it? You shut the door? Yeah. So I shut our bedroom door and I could hear chirp through that door. So I thought, oh, fuck. Let me go down the hall. I'm going to go sleep in another room. I closed that door and I can still faintly hear chirp. So then I turn on a sound machine app on my still? phone and now I couldn't hear the chirp. Oh. But that was four in the morning. I had to move back. It was horrible. So now the question is, how long are we going to wait before we change the battery? Do we well, just <laughs> let it chirp? I, no, I took the battery. I you took did? The, I took the battery. Well, out. that's not how we do things, Tom. I know. We you wanted to be like it. Shane. <laughs> do you know that this is one of the most famous episodes for me? Is that we found this guy, Shane, that does karate and singing videos. <laughs> and karate and singing. He does. So he does martial arts. And he's like 380. And he's like, this is how you do karate. And he would just put on a demo. And then he's like, I can just sing any song. So we contacted him. We we're like, will you sing these songs? And he did. He sang Prince, Mariah Carey, <laughs> like all these songs. And then instead of making it like a bit, I did it for like 45 minutes. One episode. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. And like the next week, our downloads went down by like 60%. <laughs> this is like eight years ago. Well. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, people were like, I people don't did hear not this. want to hear this guy sing badly. For over and over, I was like, and here's the next song I yeah, asked him to sing. But I, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. But I liked it too. I thought I think we were both we, into him. We were into him, yeah. But I mean, I think that we I bored the shit out of. People. I kept I I spent a lot of time prepping that, yeah, because I had to like rip the audio and like prepare it yeah and then i sew things and like i had him do yeah emotions by mariah carey <laughs> you got me feeling emotion he's like oh, 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 oh. he's like oh, that one got a little high for me <laughs> <laughs> but we were so taken with him but our audience was not <laughs> we didn't learn that lesson. people i got so much hate man. yeah yeah i know uh Last Many diamonds and pearls <laughs> you gave you diamonds oh, yeah. and pearls you gave you <laughs> diamonds and pearls but that's the chirp <sighs> but anyway so that's we gotta fix that mm. and then the other day you had a great idea thank you do you want to tell them about it which was what about <coughs> a lot of people's suffering oh and yeah well you know this um pandemics affecting people in a lot of ways and there's a lot of uh things that you don't expect that kind of come up you know schooling um obviously medical supplies um people are hungry and there's just there's only there's so many things that are affected when when an economy shuts down and basically you only have essential things that are allowed and you got to kind of put yourself in the mindset of yeah, maybe this isn't totally essential to you, but maybe it, it would be important to somebody else. One of those things that I thought about um, that I, I'm like, you know, we could maybe uh, put some attention on this is the people who right before, right before this was shut down, were about to get uh, boob jobs. And now they're sitting here through this pandemic with small, hungry tits. And it's like, what about them? Right. You know, because right. they were about to get big tits right. and then, you know, the government said, no, that's right. not important. And I think it is important. I it think is. It's important. it's important to stay hot in this pandemic. It's Chicks really got to be hot. It's important to be hot. Um, you should get your nails done. And if you're like, I don't know how to do that, you know, fucking figure it out. Figure it out. Um, women are stupid. Women are dumb. Shave your legs. Look hot. Yeah. And most importantly, get, I would say, get those big tits, like get them done <laughs> no matter what. Maybe have a friend help you, you know, do your own boob jobs, do your own saying? boob job, get some saline, get a lunch bag, yeah. put it in there. The incision's small. You could probably figure it out. <laughs> they do small incisions. There's a few episodes on YouTube. You, you could probably you can do a boob job. Figure it out. Yeah. Easy. But Easy. I like that you're thinking of these women because it must be heartbreaking to be walking around with such hungry tits. Hungry tits are quarantine tits and nobody likes them. They no want to be fed. Them. So 
I'm going to work with um, a couple people I've reached out to to <coughs> set up a fundraiser and uh, just to shed some light on the fact that there's people out there with small tits who are <laughs> about to get big tits and now they can't. <laughs> I think it's important to to bring some attention to them. Yeah, I mean, like, I watch CNN every day. I'm not seeing Anderson cover this story nope. or Sanjay Gupta. Nope. And Why by the way, talking about this issue, let's spread it out. Fox isn't covering it either. Yeah. There's, there's neither side. This is a bipartisan issue. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you're voting for in the election. Both groups have small tits in them. That's right. And both groups need bigger tits. Yeah. And you know, yeah. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like if you smoke meth, maybe you can solve the issue. But if you don't, you're going <laughs> to, you're going to be sad with your little titties, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your dickhead becomes so sensitive. Ugh, I hate how he says that. That's my favorite. So sensitive. So sensitive. <laughs> you, 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 just, you just barely touch it. He comes just an enormous amount. Ugh. Very hot. Okay, thick. I got it. <laughs> He's so sensitive. Uh, you remember Winston? Winston Cave, the cool guy at the post office? Yes, I remember I do, him? the like, PO box guy. guy. If you're the manager, I'd like you to help me. If you can't help me, I'm going to go right down the road. What's the. Um, it's Winston Cave. I'm give you my ID. Are got, you the owner of the... He's at the post office. office. You didn't want to deal with me. You want to... No, sir. Okay, he's so, so fired up. Are you the boss? Yeah. I asked for a boss. Fuck off. Fuck you off. There's Josh okay. Potter See at the I dentist. Mean? Fuck yep. people, man. Fuck you in the fucking ass, you stupid bitch. There he is. There he is. Do- talking down to me. We have uh, a follow-up. No. There's more footage, right? This guy does so many drugs. I don't know. I don't know about that. He's in the state of Texas. Where's state Texas at, Bubba? It's in the United States, you dumbass. I love y'all. <laughs> and I love fucking around. That was fun for me. And I needed that. Wait, was that supposed to be he's saying he was fucking around when he was in there? Or this is totally unrelated? I'm not 100% sure. Looks like he's wearing the same thing. Yeah. So it seems like he's doing this right after leaving the post office. Anyway, I got my P.O. Box. It huh. is 2004, Cedar Park, Texas. What up, Texas? Much love, but I got to get out this fucking state. I got to get some money, and I got to get some gas, and we'll see who comes through for me. Show the K-Man some love, because I ain't got nothing but love for you. Let's see how God works. Let's show these bitch-ass haters that I got enough lovers. I can drown these bitches. <laughs> so is he asking his social media community to give him gas money? He's like, who's got some love for the caveman? Give me, send me some money for gas. I think he's just having a good time interacting. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's no goal. I think it's just, just wilding out, wilding out, bro. Okay. He's just doing his thing. And I want to have fun today, but I got a lot of shit to do because I want to get the fuck out of town today. Gonna go to a trap house. What? That nigga? Oh, dude, did he say nigga? He did say nigga. Nigga. N I G. G A motherfucker! <sighs> this guy is. That's crazy. a real big switch, though. From a moment ago, he's like, "I was having a good time," and it just got it went all the way to ten with some big words. <laughs> too. I would go math. I would go mania of bipolar. Uh, actually, that's exactly what um, big words. What Dr. Drew said yeah. when he was watching the other video. He said, yeah. "This is bipolar to a T." Yeah, mania episode. He's going But he white, man. He a honky. You know, we don't trust them honkies. Man, they may even call him Quacker. You know what I mean? Bueno, pizza hoto. Chupa da verga. Chupa da verga. Oh, he doesn't no, he's doing s- Spanish now, But too. he didn't say that, right? Chupa he didn't say da verga. He didn't. But he's, you know, he's, he's, right. he's in the wheelhouse. I'm in my truck, oh. which is my homestead. I shall not get out of my truck until I see a warrant. So if you Cedar Park coppers are fucking paying attention, respect the boss right now. Why? My man deals with law enforcement a lot. Yeah. What? He think he's some type of boss? You goddamn fucking right. The boss is back, bitches. I'm exhausted. Went, I Can know. We, I can't. It, it's like... It's really a lot. And I'm on Ooh. federal fucking property right now. Fuck with me. Donald Trump, please okay. be here for me right now. I'm on your fucking <laughs> property, bro. And I love you. Okay. I, okay. I can't. I'm done. All right. Well, uh, there is one is other thing. So There's just one horrible. thing. 
trying to find a place oh. to pull over uh, when we're safe, but I guess right here is probably the best place. <laughs> Love y'all. Stupid. Pray for me. He got pulled yes, over sir. here. Of course he did. Oh, okay. The stop is your uh, kayak or whatever that's sticking out the back. You got any, sir? Yes, sir. Will you step out for me? Uh, no, sir. Second? No, sir. No, you won't? No, sir. <gasps> oh, yeah, you will. Step out. Step out or I'll break it. That's not a good... Let me just tell you right now. What? <laughs> just going, no, I won't, and then rolling up the window on it. Oh, man. It's never going to go And he has a kayak you. sticking out of the back, so he's all kinds of fucked up. See uh, what I'm saying? My hands are up. Look, look. See what I'm saying, guys? Please just pray for me. What do you think is going to happen right Please. now? <gasps> just pray for me. Oh, my God. Sir, you're going to have to get a warrant. I know, I know, I know, I know my laws. You're gonna have to get a warrant, sir. He's not trying to search your car. They shoot me. It's because, it's because everything that's going on. It's because I'm an honest man. I love that's you why. All. Oh, okay. Please, somebody tag in Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, <laughs> you Donald can hear Trump, us. please save me. What? In dear God's name, please stop these people. Oh my God. <laughs> He's a victim. How did he end up being the victim here? And why are there only 356 people watching this live? This is amazing. <laughs> this would be amazing. To watch I'm so live. upset that people. Oh, 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 oh. They're breaking. Oh, my God. Uh, are they allowed to do that, the cops? Be broke. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is a really crazy video, man. What else? Is there more? Please. I'm not doing anything, sir. Well, then why don't you just get the fuck out? I'm a believer in the Lord. I'm the, I'm the Lord's child. I promise you. Give me a hand. I promise you. I'm not trying Step to resist. I, okay, but Step listen. My, my wallet's right here. Okay, Leave you your hands right here. And that's where that ends. No follow-up on that, huh? No. Please, somebody tag in Donald Trump. <laughs> Okay. Woo. Wow. That's pretty special. That Can you get a cough, awesome. please? <laughs> leave the room. <laughs> I kind of could man. watch these kind of videos all day. Is this what Cops was like? And I just missed the train on that show? I love there's a comment up there that says, Donald Trump to the rescue. <laughs> like, like he was like, hold on, guys. <laughs> got to make, I got to save the caveman real quick. I don't know. I don't know if they can. I think they can do that, right? I mean, this is Texas. They definitely Texas, can do they that. Texas, they can do whatever. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you don't follow a lawful command from a police officer. Proto. Yeah. yeah but I've seen, like, these videos, too, also where, because I, I think it changes wow. state by state where, uh, like, a police officer will give a command, and then a really informed citizen will, will cite you know. Well, that's the thing. Like, someone that knows all those laws could scare a cop into, yeah. like, abandoning proto which is like oh this person sounds like he might be a lawyer. yeah like those that like, give me your id i got a guy was walking around he's like hey, what's your name he's like i don't tell you my name right and then he was like where, where does this say i have to give you my name he's like well let me see your id he's like no i don't have to do that either and i saw the guy had like a body cam on and he just talked circles around this cop and the cop was like all right just get out of here he's like no i don't have to get out of here either it was just like you know but this is like the uninformed way right. of doing it. Being this like, guy watches no those videos. No window up. <laughs> no. No window up. And the that's, window up is like, it's a bit of what a do you think, it's over? Oh, uh, yeah, he rolled his window up, so yeah. we got to go. Jeez. I wonder why I don't you don't know. have to give a cop your ID. Is this in California? I, can't, I couldn't tell you. I really don't know. I don't know. I, I don't read know up on that. All the... Uh... Oh, man. That was exhausting, though. That's what it's like. That's we we Texas. just spent like a moment with this guy. Imagine being around this all the time. No, thank you. Jesus. I Christ. know it's exha He's exhausting. This guy. Is he? Is he? When was the last post? Like when was that? He's still out in the posted? world. You know what I mean? Does it say? Oh, the he's day? Austin, Austin, Texas. Yeah. Oh, this post was from four weeks ago. Yeah, that's the last post. Yeah, maybe he's just not out yet. <laughs> Well, you know he doesn't have money. He asked for gas money. Mm -hmm. So bail money is probably way longer than gas money. <laughs> Ta-ta there, TikTok. Yeah. Oh, our fans are already... Oh, they're... <laughs> <laughs> oh my didn't God. Follow didn't proto. follow Proto. 
Oh my god! Yeah. Can someone explain what feathering it is? <laughs> oh wow, they did find. All right, damn, dude, that is wild. Hey, where's that um that cool, cool, cool as fuck dude Twitter game? Is that in here the feed or do you have it? Oh, I have it up. Oh, this. Do you remember um pig tits? Pig tits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, I do. Sorry, the guy that was on TikTok. He wasn't on TikTok. TikTok. He was um. Oh, sorry, the guy with the suction cups yeah. on his tits. Of how could I forget? So we sorry, found I... him. Oh, what? It's gone. No. That's crazy. We were just on it yesterday. Oh, we were on it yesterday, so what? his account got banned. I guess in the last twenty-four hours. We were just looking at this with Drew. I was looking at it with Drew yesterday. Oh my God! What did he have to say? He was fascinated. He wanted. He wanted to fly there. The guy's I, in Calgary. He's I would like, love to. He's like, I want to know all about this guy. Because this is this is a tattoo, the pig on the head with the snout. All those are tats. And he puts on his suction tit cups every day. <laughs> and he plays with his tits. And can you scroll? Wait, go up there. Scroll into that profile description so that she can read that. Yeah. Can you make that area oh, bigger? Oh, I love it. I, it says Calgary. And then his phone number. No, no, yeah, but I want you to actually read what it says there. The phone number? No, no, just that whole section. Sissy faggot cocksucker giving free blowjobs. The call must show caller ID. Only Calgary callers will be answered. See, now here's another one that only wants regional because Because they, men. he knows that's a real it's cock a real in guy. the area. Yeah. This is outstanding. I mean, this is on the level of a Robert Paul Champagne giving out the phone number. You are speaking exactly the way Drew spoke. This is what fascinated Drew. Wow. Um, can you scroll down? What is going on? This guy's the best. <coughs> All right. Okay, what, what what am I reading here? This is like Dear a... Dear interviewer. Yeah, here is Pig's response to your question. Can you make that larger, by the way, that whole section? Yeah, I can't really. I'm having struggles. Okay. I have a few questions for you, Norman. Thanks for the response. First of all, how long have you been involved in the BDSM community? And part of that, how long have you been living as a pig? <laughs> also, what do family, friends, or neighbors think about your lifestyle? If you would rather not answer that, I understand. Finally, do you actually enjoy your life? How is it at the moment? Or do you do it because you are forced to slash told to? Thank you, Norman. Have a great day. And he writes, dear interviewer, here is Pig's response to your question. Pig. He refers yes. to himself. Pig entered the BSM, BDSM lifestyle at age 16 Aww. upon discovering it in a porn magazine. The images and thoughts expressed if superior women possessing supremacy set the pace for Pig's future. Pig is currently 71 and has mm -hmm. lived an alternative BFSM lifestyle throughout the 55 years in between. My family consists of mom, dad, brother, all of them have passed away. Mm. They all knew about pig's need for the BDSM lifestyle. They never understood it nor asked much about it. They just simply accepted me and my quirks. As for friends, pig has none. Pig mm. is a loner and has lived in, as such throughout most of his life, not needing friends to keep pig whole. As for neighbors, they do not judge the pig face to face but who knows what goes on with their doors closed pig does not really care what people think about pig and bdsm pig is elated with his choice of bdsm lifestyle pig has lived as a slave and human what is that chattel chattel to a number of superior women owners over its lifetime pig cannot function well in the vanilla world mm. uh, pig is happy living an alternative bdsm lifestyle and can not find any reason to change it Pig truly lives to serve, worship, and obey all superior women. Now that's interesting. Pig is appalled at how male pig creatures treat their wives and girlfriends as second-class citizens. Most male pig creatures see their wives as daycare keepers for their children, domestic cleaning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, superior women are the ultimate treasure in this world; should be respected and treated as such. Pig hopes this answers your questions. <sighs> well, that this sent a chill down my spine. The uh, the trauma. I'm guessing. Oh, the trauma, to quote Dr. Drew. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> okay. Um, now, the Do thing is, there's the pig tits. Um, he, he mentions, you know, being in awe of these women, but everything about his profile is just all about, like, sucking cocks. So that's interesting that you say that. That I had his Twitter profile, uh, you know, up, ready for us to just go through, because a lot of this stuff I can't really prep. Um, but it's a lot of, there was a surprising amount of women in the porn that he would retweet on Twitter. 
Hmm. A lot of women just full on kicking dudes like in the beanbag. You know? He loves that. He loves stuff. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the dick sucking is a way of him to be submissive. Like a woman is telling him, you right. suck a dick. And that makes sense with the property. Miss Talon's couple um, of property, you know? Yeah. Like where the superior Gosh. woman is telling him what to do. Yeah. I am so happy that we put this mystery together. What an excellent well, use of brain power. Well, when Us college mystery, graduates. When one mystery is solved, another one is opened, and we just stumbled into another mystery. Yeah. Which is, uh, I just tried, you know, taking this link and putting it in another browser, and I get this. What? So this is from his uh, twi uh, Reddit account. This is his Reddit account that he's just been posting like a social media account. So people were following on there, and he was actively posting on there, like now. Every what about day the thing two. that we just saw when we were in the break? The uh, right. So now, that? Uh, I was looking for his Twitter handle, and you see this stuff. No, that's yesterday. No, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I mean, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Like I said, you know, Fed Smoker didn't die and all that, but. This look January twenty twenty to April. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, what? are they meaning like in memory of him on social media? Like maybe that's how long he's been on Twitter right, for. Right, right. I'm hoping that that's makes what that sense. means because all these hashtags are justice for Norman Summerton. Something tells me he's been booted from these platforms. Right, I'm hoping justice meaning he was unjustly oh, booted. And from... Potter's been calling him on repeat, trying to get him on the horn. But this and is, then uh... is there a bunch more of these um, hashtags or no? Is it just... nah? <laughs> it looks like his fan base was pretty limited. Mm -hmm. But now hold on. I didn't think Twitter discriminated. I thought that you could do Twitter whatever you wanted. Twitter has hardcore porn all the time. Yeah. Why are they not allowing you know? this man to conduct Well, his... they don't have a lot of tit cups on Twitter, I don't think. <laughs> you think the tit cups were the violation? They don't have a lot of pigs on Twitter <laughs> posting their pig activity. Right, but what's the difference between the old lady putting a call out for local men? I really... Because I think people have seen that before. But BDSM, big deal. He I also mean, has a he had, a, he had on that thing we saw yesterday. He was like, I want a shot of cum, like in a shot glass. Right. Like, if you well, maybe he's soliciting like too nasty, like illegal. Know. Is he, He's wanting illegal things done. Is that what this is? Is that him in the suit there? <laughs> is that Norman? No, I think this might be another lady that he's into. No, no, but the suit, the actual, there was a guy in a tie. And that, you know what I mean? Is that him? That looks like him. Although I don't see. Oh my god! Oh. He's a mortgage broker. Shut, dude. He's a fucking mortgage broker, dude. This is before the head tattoo. Maybe? Can you go to dude, that? That's link? him. That's that's him. What? Oh it's my! In Calgary, yeah, dude. That's him. So wait a minute. He's that's like, he's on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Hold on, me. Yeah, uh, any uh, is saying that there's a good chance that this is probably fake. Uh, oh, really? There's nothing there. It's just a picture. It's just a picture. His name and then thirty connections. It looks fake to me. Although so. I would imagine maybe if he does go on LinkedIn, that that is. Can you how open? Can you it. make that profile pic bigger so we can see if it's a Photoshop or if it's an actual right. photo of him? Damn the mystery. Is that him or is it photo? I can't tell. Does it look photoshopped? I mean, I'm looking at the lighting on, like the the lighting on his hand matches the lighting on his head. But where's his pig tat? <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe maybe the pig tat's new. Or yeah, could be. I mean, because it's right there on the top. Right. I mean, how did he work for so many years with pig tat on his head? Unless he has you like know? an incredible makeup job every morning. He's just like. Right. It all up. Or he wears a hat. Maybe he says he's Jewish and he wears one of those yarmulkes on top. Maybe. And just covers it. <laughs> or he just he he puts makeup and then it just gets hot and people are like, "Is there something on your head?" You're like, "Oops." <laughs> you want to refi that home? Um, wow. I mean, I I can't wow. imagine. So he must have been banned and taken down. Someone must. They must have complained about him. Lincolnton. In the community. I don't fuck with Lincolnton. I, that's crazy. Is he not on the Grum? Yeah, can, can when you click on that photo of him though, he's on the Twits. No, no. Oh, when you click on the photo of him in images, <laughs> where he was on the phone, does it go to like a website? You know what I mean? Go back. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah. Does that go to his Twitter account where it says mortgage brokers? No, that goes to LinkedIn. Then. Yeah, it goes to, the, to his LinkedIn profile. But if you click the photo itself at ca.linkedin there, does that actually go to an image? Like a, a larger... No, it's LinkedIn. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. Oh, well, fuck. this is very upsetting. Jeez, there's another guy with a cool <laughs> fucking cum slut written on his head. I think head. that might be him. That's him? Yeah, it could be. Before the, the head tap? No? No, it's not him. No, yeah, look, if you just cover, if you hmm. just leave the mustache. Hmm. All right. Gosh. Well, what a riddle. If anybody could enlighten us, yeah. that would be great. Love to know what's going on. We can get it. So Josh has been calling his phone and we haven't heard. It's, uh, he tells me he's just been going to voicemail. Oh, gosh. Well, I imagine our listeners have found him already and have. But he also says he doesn't pick up for non-Calgary numbers. So it could just be that Fuck. he's being very selective. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you All text right. him? Well, look, we got to solve this mystery, guys. Let's, let's, let's make sure Norm's okay. This is the greatest find we've had at YMH for a long time. I don't want to lose. The, I can't believe the trail has gone cold. It's amazing. It's I amazing. know. This guy's pretty fucking amazing. I want to, like, interview him. I want him on our couch. Me too. <laughs> or Dr. Drew goes to Calgary. I want to, look, I want to end this on a bang. So how about we just okay. uh, to wrap it up? I heard you bitches was looking for me. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> My favorite. Do you know the bitch here I go lady got real mad with TikTok and she's like, I'm done. I'm over it. She was she the, got fired from McDonald's. I remember her being the A1 from day one. Like yeah. She was, yeah. She was one, the first one to really inspire me. Well, that's that how I, one. I became aware of TikTok because you were playing her all the time. And she's you were fantastic. also walking around the house going, bitch, here I go. Bitch, here I go. Yeah. All the time. I heard you bitches looking for me. Uh, a limited batch this week, but I'm hoping these are all top tier. <laughs> Yeah, there's a well. There's a whole lot of new stuff going around. You ready? Yep, always. Hey, Nookie Monster here. Tonight only, all must cash rides fifteen dollars. What? Oh, no must cash. All rides are free tonight. Uh. I feel like this was Norman a few years ago. Jesus. He could get there to Norman level. Right? I want to know what this dude's drug consumption looks like. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He's so disgusting. Particularly in the 80s, like yeah, when he was yeah, really yeah, raging. Yeah. So gnarly. Oh, this is amazing. This is in the Ukraine. Yeah. They saran wrapped this guy. <laughs> Such a good Onto video. a swing. That's <laughs> 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 pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It is fun. And they saran wrapped this guy to the swing and then they made him go all the way around. And they, so upside but they down. saran wrapped so his arms and legs can't move. <laughs> How much true. saran wrap would that take <laughs> to really know. tightly get you in there? <laughs> a lot. But I love that this is what like three Ukrainian boys are doing on a Saturday. It's just fantastic. I love stupidity. I am so sad. I have no one to be gay with. <laughs> I, just, I like the tone of that one that was awesome yeah i like the wind wow. <laughs> man it was sweet that was like a sweet yes. one that was actually really nice yeah i was uh i was like is he just swimming next to a bunch of trash <laughs> that's what i thought is the, is the background just all trash you know what i mean when, yeah i think like when it like, starts is that all trash no that's like I oh. am so sad. It's a waterfall. I have no one to be gay with. <laughs> it's like a waterfall that just needs to be Jesus. upkept a bit. Like mineral Pet building. Is she in a festival for two? You've got me Excuse on me? That would be on board a flight Excuse to me? the airport in Traverse City. <laughs> 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 this one. This one really tickled me. You watch this a lot at home. I found this on Easter Sunday. And man, it really tickled me. For those so of you listening, there's a, a lady enters the room of clearly a retirement home, and there's a very elderly woman <laughs> laying down uh, with her mouth open, um, either asleep or dead. And then the, the caretaker goes, is she alive? 
<laughs> and he goes, excuse me, nothing happens, ma'am. And then she sticks out her index finger and touches her arm and the lady just turns her head. <laughs> and what I like, is she alive? Excuse me? That would be on board a flight to the airport in Traverse City. Yeah. She's so hesitant, the, the finger poke. Yeah. She's like, excuse me. What I like too is the audio. Um, it's a real calorie burner. I think of the irony yeah. of like an exercise be active. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Imagine <laughs> what that's like when you're that old and you're seeing oh. shit like get going and be at and run up and down. And you're like, I can't even <laughs> shit up. It's got to just, Put you know, I, bullet. that always, re this, every time I've seen this, I haven't really said it to you, but it reminds me of when I was with Jane and we found that guy in the field, you know? Yeah. You told me about this when this was in Florida, right? Yes. And I was, I was driving with my sister. <laughs> this is years ago. We were going to a friend's house. And we we do this like there's an S turn on the street, so it's like straight, and then it goes like this. And right where after we do that the turn, uh, she goes, "What was that?" And I was like, "What?" And she's like, "There's something out in the field," because it was like that turn went around a grass field. And I was like, "No, no, no, we got it. We're going this." And she was like, "No, you got to go around. And it's one way streets." So I was like, "Oh my god, like we're just wasting time, you know?" So now I got to go here, then one way, one way, all the way to go back around again. And then we're doing it. I'm like, what? And she's like, don't you see that out there? And there's a, a light. Like you can see a light coming in the middle of the field. I'm like, yeah, what is that? So I pull over, I park, and I, and I realize it's a motorcycle. It's a motorcycle and the light is still on. You know, and I was like, that's strange. And then we look back and we see there was a fence that's now knocked down. I'm like, oh, so, and then you keep looking around, you're scanning around, and then like, you know, 30 yards from that, there's a, a guy, lay, a body, just there. So I was like, oh, shit. So I tell her, call 911. And she's panicking, panicking, like really. And I realize as I'm getting closer, I've never been in that situation. So I'm, I'm getting nervous. Mm. And I start going, you know, I look back on it like how silly it is at the time. But I'm so nervous to be, you know, this close to this. I start going, sir? Mm. sir you know and i'm like scooting i'm not walking up to him like eh. i'm like and i get really close and i'm like sir and i and i do the same thing Ugh. i take my index finger and i'm like Ugh. scared to touch and i just go i you know i touch him on like the shoulder yeah sir sir <laughs> and i i'm like are, are you are you okay sir mm. and i keep i touch his shoulder and then i just hear like oh like he moans you know i was mm. like oh fuck. And then he fucking sits <gasps> up. And when he sits up, his head flaps open. <gasps> you know, like the top of his head just is open. And I'm like, <gasps> and then, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm like, um, you were in a, a motorcycle accident. I remember that. Um, Jesus, Tommy. I, I, I'm, I, the police you told came me the story a and decade they, ago. Uh, like, oh my they God. They medevaced him. So they brought a helicopter into that field. Oh my God. And then months later, I got a subpoena uh, from the city because they were like, they were charging him with a DUI and I was a, a witness. So he mm -hmm. lived, he recovered and they were like, you were drunk. So this was the subpoena for the, for the DUI and I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> you did? No. Yeah. yeah. You didn't show up? I was in LA and this was in Florida. Oh yeah, you're not gonna go. I was, well, like, I was gonna say, don't you wish you would have just kept on driving? Like don't help people. Uh, he definitely would have died. Oh, no, it's fine. It's, <laughs> well, it's not fine. He would have been dead. Yeah. Did you text Claudia and see maybe if she knew what to do? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get Ellis on the phone. Can we try to get Ellis on the phone? Sure. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. She's probably putting Juju down right now. Oh, you think so? Let me just check. I cannot believe Please leave your message God. the lies. I know. Well, I here's the thing. I was real fired up. And I was I was fired up for everyone who served. Okay. I'll, everybody. Thank you. Next. My father's a veteran. Stop my with this. A I love I love the military. I've been to Afghanistan, as I mentioned earlier, the United Arab Emirates, Riyadh to entertain troops. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. No, I know you have. You Persian have. Gulf. I stayed on an uh, oil platform. I know. 
Please. But I don't remember you coming back being like, I served in the military. Oh my God. You okay. Were like, I just entertained them. Thank you. All right. There's one left. Okay. Is this a good one? I don't know. I don't know what I sent. Okay. So I have a long history of constipation and whatnot. <laughs> and I've had to get <laughs> stuff removed out of me from the hospital. It's gotten so bad. But I'll tell you what cigarettes have laxatives in them. And it seems like every time I smoke a cigarette, <laughs> I have to take a shit. And I'm going to tell you what, man. Taking a shit is like a relaxing experience. No wonder people got so much fucking toilet paper. Because when you're lonely, you're in... Um... God damn it, I dropped my cigarette. I'm just happy you take a shit. I'm happy to get that crap out of my butthole <laughs> thank you cigarettes and laxatives that's a great one you like that's, that a one? Really, that's a really good one to put a nice button a nice bow on the episode yeah, yeah. well i was thinking i could introduce her to the dove because he also smokes cigarettes and maybe you guys have some in common <laughs> yeah that's the only thing i look in look for for a partner <laughs> if they smoke i'm into it shout out to the ufc too she's got a nice ufc shirt on yep yep um makes you take a shit big old shit she's right though when i used to smoke cigarettes that would it was like a trigger it made me shit all the time how come do you is that how you take a shit in a dog by smoking does um, it make you shit no nah, i don't smoke a cigarette first thing in the morning it's the coffee that makes me go yeah mm -hmm. when's your first cigarette what time <laughs> uh probably <laughs> my my drive to work you smoke in the car mm -hmm. savage is that crazy I think it is. With mm -hmm. the windows down? Please that's what people do. smoke. Oh, with the windows down. Yeah. Yeah. Windows up is savage. Yeah, that's in that is that's insane. insane. <laughs> Wait, how are you wearing your mask inside the car and smoking? Oh, uh, I have cut a little cigarette sized <laughs> hole in my mask. So it's my smoking mask. Yeah. I used to I smoked, you know, whatever, over ten years ago. And I used to take the same route to work every day. And you don't realize that when you're in morning traffic on a route the same day that there's, if it's if enough people work where you work, that you're probably driving by people that you work with. And one day when I had that post job, this uh, guy came up to me, he's like, oh, I saw you, see you on that hill every day. And I was like, yeah. He's like, you always flick your cigarettes out, <laughs> out the window. It's something you could do, maybe don't flick them, you know? And I was like, yeah, I'm not worried about it. It was his way of trying to encourage good behavior. I'm a dick. And I was like, I was kind of Josh business. Potter in that situation. I yep. was like, how about I put them out on your fucking eyeballs? Yeah. Oh, here she is. Oh, Let no. Let me see. Hi. Hi, Mr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I ask you, is Ellis near you by any chance? Yeah. Can you tell him, can you ask him to get on the phone with me? I just wanted to ask him something. Sure. Thank you. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, are oh, they both there? Hi. Hey, Ellis, can I ask you a question? Yeah? Did you find a key the other day and put it on the table in the front of the house? Did you find a key and put it there? No, I couldn't. You did? <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> so, no. So, you did find it or you didn't find it? Oh, okay. okay we gotta All right. Go. No problem. I'm sorry. I gotta go. I'm proud of you. Thanks for finding the key, Ellis. No, he Love didn't you. Find the key. All right. He well, we not... solved the issue. He said, "Uh, uh." He no. goes, "Uh, huh." He said, "Uh, uh." He said, "No, uh -huh. I didn't." Uh, huh. Babe, now you're getting our four-year-old involved in your web of lies. You're a real psycho. You know that. Our son didn't even know that he hooked you up. Okay. And... All right. How dare you involve our children now in your lies, your web of crazy lies. <laughs> he was legit mad at me for this stuff. It was really irrational. I had to talk to, I talked about it with my therapist. You did? <laughs> I was like, what is this shit, this stolen valor? I was like telling her the story. <laughs> and then I was like, I mean, he's legit mad at me. To my shrink, I'm like, what do you think is going on with him? <laughs> 
And um, and I go, <laughs> I swear to God, and I go, maybe it was my tone, like when I had found the male box key and I found it, like maybe was I too gloaty and I made you feel inferior? Like was I being too crappy with my tone? Yes. And I was like, you know, did, is that what provoked you to be so angry? Yeah. And then she said, well, no, this, you know, maybe this, this, it sounds like this is something that's a deeper thing for him, you know, maybe something in his life he was taking, you know, someone else got to take credit for something or I don't know. I said, okay. But she just, she said, we don't know. We don't know what it is, but uh, <laughs> that was that. And I was like, all right. No, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, please enlighten me. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. Because there's always this thing about, you know, I, and it, it is lifelong about, oh, you didn't really look, you didn't really look. And I spent like an hour and I emptied that table and I tried them all. So when you're like, oh, it's on the table, I knew it wasn't on the table. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on the table. So that's why I got upset because you were, you were making it seem like <laughs> I didn't spend time looking. I, but I, that wasn't what I, I didn't say that at all. You're implying it. I did, but I didn't say but that. But you're I, implying I, it. I did not. And I didn't, the implication wasn't that you yes, hadn't. Yes, you are. You're implying nope, it. Nope, not at all. You're implying it because you're like, it was on the table. That's mm -hmm. where I found it. <laughs> that's where you said you found it. But yeah, I go, babe, it was on the table, but it wasn't but that's like, but, you but didn't look, you shitty piece of shit. I wasn't saying all that. Gosh. You're, you're now, now, you're, now you're being a condescending you know what. What? Okay, what? Now you're being a I, condescending you know what. I promise you, you I'm not. What. I promise you I'm not. I just explained it to you, and if you open your fucking ears up. Oh my God. I just explained it to you. Okay. You're saying, that I found it. On the, and, I, and I just got done telling you that I emptied the table, like there's nothing on the table. Not even the box or the, or, or the clothes or the <clears> little <throat> thing that thing, they were all, all, everything was off the table. And I went out and I tried all the keys. And then when you go, it was on the table, it implies that I missed it on the table when nothing was on the table. You don't, that still doesn't register? <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying that, right, I, 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 see, I see how you can interpret it like that. I'm, I'm being sincere. I see how you, and read that into it i'm saying that i really wasn't thinking about your behavior at all like i really wasn't <laughs> going tom's a, tom didn't look no no you always it. say that to me though you always you, you can't say that now right but in you, this in you this, always say you're not really looking you didn't look i do it's all, right yes. to, so uh, what like, i'm saying is didn't look. but i didn't say that this time i did not insinuate that okay. even i was just happy to find the mail at this point so that we didn't go months without checking our mail now i'm instead of i was going to apologize now i'm going to get you back <laughs> <laughs> now i'm going to get you back and i'm going to get you back in a serious way oh my god okay wait what happened to you owe me a massage tonight no that went out that? the window that is gone <laughs> that is long gone now you absolutely you tried to humiliate me at the end of this show <laughs> okay i'm returning the wigs i'm taking xanadu back to amazon is that what you want you want me to send back xanadu because i will and star no. <laughs> Be nice. Be nice. Somebody put the key on the fucking oh together. God. And it wasn't you. Okay. And I think Ellis found it. <laughs> and I'm going to have him make a video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, let's see what she said here. Oh crap! Who is it? It's Claudia. What did she say? She goes, "Oh, the key! I did find that." <laughs> she did not. <laughs> Mister Tom, I thought about it more, and I forgot. You're gonna force her to send that text at gunpoint. You're gonna put a fucking knife in her throat. Can I tell you? Can, like, I, can, I, can I tell you? Can I tell you? Text it to me. Can I tell you what I was gonna do the other day? The day when we were talking about it, I was going to call her and say, just send me a text that says, yes, I found it. Oh, my God. You're fucking insane. You're so crazy. Uh, 
I was. And she'd be like, what? Just say, yes, I found the key. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what childhood wound this is from. This one's fucking unreal. <laughs> well, you just watch and you watch how this audience is like, it is clear that Christina is stealing valor, <laughs> especially from our vets. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay Whew. okay that was a lot of fun yeah thank you guys it was a lot of fun uh our closing song today do we know who did this one i try to tell say who it was oh by the by the dead weight the dead weights or the dead weight yeah uh the dead weight maneuver okay it's, it's called just let me try it out by the dead weight maneuver thank you guys we'll see you next week oh don't forget you can get your um i'm following proto mask to wear during quarantine, or you can also do your meth mouth mask. <laughs> um, there's a <clears throat> Carol did it tea, long sleeve. There's a bunch of stuff from the special, like ball hog, nine is a lot, things of that nature. <clears throat> there's even a new that bitch tea that is also in the store <laughs> <laughs> with the tiger. This quarantine's right. been really good for you. I think you've <laughs> really delved into some new areas in your psyche. We will, we will, here, I'm going to hire a, a private investigator <laughs> and we will find and out. And do what, to, We will find out exactly to what extent you went to try to deceive me into thinking that you found the key. We know you didn't. So we will get to the bottom of this and there will be many follow-up videos to come. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking for hardcore guys. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I'm looking for hard work, guys. I'm looking for hard work, guys. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans. <laughs>